Do you awake, Eric? Yeah. Yes. What's that weird breathing thing you were just doing? I'm just sitting here listening to you guys. All right. All right, Eric. Hey, uh... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Glad someone's listening. Yeah, he doesn't have to listen on the phone, though. He can listen <laughs> on his... Anything you want to say? Radio. Just that I think next week you should bring Ralph's show back. Okay. Yeah, I saw Ralph up here. He was moping around saying... He really loved doing that show, didn't you, yeah. Eric? He loved doing it, and Ralph loved doing it. And... Yeah, and next time I would have more to say. You know, just the questions I had, the only questions I had in mind for Constantine were questions that were off topic, you know, that they weren't talking about. So I didn't bother what? asking him. What were you thinking of asking Constantine? Well, I mean, like, if he keeps in contact with anyone, are the idols from... How big is your cock? Or, Would you suck on from, his dick? <laughs> Enter the idols. Are your balls <laughs> proportionate to your penis? <laughs> Keep in contact with any of the idols? Do you know Diana DeGarmo? Do you have her number? Can you give it to me? I'd be like, how desperate are you to stay, you know, in the public eye? <laughs> right. All right, hey, thanks, uh, Eric. I'll talk to you later, and we'll see... Uh, I guess we'll find out tonight if our efforts were rewarded, all right? And, and Gary, I left you a message a couple... People want to get a hold of you, so please get back to me. All right, a little cryptic there, but... Secret message. Secret message from Eric the Midget to Gary. <laughs> All right, Eric, thank you. That's uh, Eric checking in. Uh, got through a couple hundred times to Sanjaya voting lines. I uh, I keep forgetting that Eric tried to put a hit on a guy. That's always fun. Yeah. Eric the Midget just called in. I want to go home and talk to Eric. Well, what, did he, what does he want? What do you want? Just say that, you know, we've got Sanjaya to stay another week. Yep, we sure did. Uh, now all of a sudden you're the leader of the movement. Like Let him was, have some fun. He joined us. He almost, almost sounded like it was my idea. Hey, Ari, you said that you don't have the eye of a tiger. You have the stomach of a yeah, hippo. I, don't know, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say elephant, but you went with hippo. <laughs> stomach of a hippo. That's a good one, Eric. You know what? You know what, Eric? You're bullshit. You called in because you thought of that joke. <laughs> no. And under the guise of a sand. Yes, you did. <clears throat> I've been on hold longer before you said that. Oh, so you're just thinking up brilliant shit on, on Why hold. do you call in so late? Call in early so I can talk to you. I fell asleep. Oh. You're digging the whole Sanjaya thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He likes it now. He had to change your heart. Are you wearing your PJ pants right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. And, yes. And let, let you know how stupid that guy was that called you yesterday. He said that I made him or I changed my mind on Ralph's show. Uh oh. I did a phone interview with Shuli the day before. About how cute is he in his PJ pants? <laughs> I mean, really, I he's so goddamn adorable. Yeah, you know. What's the most fun thing you're going to do this weekend, Eric? Well, we're moving. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where are you going to? Well, moving out of this apartment into an actual house. Oh, wow. To a dollhouse, I heard. <laughs> no. He figured out that he could actually stuff himself into a dollhouse That's and cool. save a fortune it's on rent. Cheap, too. <laughs> All right, Eric. Thanks. I got to get going, okay? Eric, go bore some other radio show. <laughs> Talk to you Monday. Get out of here. Put on your regular jeans, man. Get out of them fucking pants. PJ pants. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to look gay, man. Take care. I'm Have actually, a good weekend. Good luck moving. I'm actually going to go back to sleep. We'll yeah. talk to you next week. All right. Bye. Bye. Later. Bye. Why do I envy him for going back to sleep? He's the freak, not me. Psychologically, why? Because psychologically you would love to be taken care of, and he kind of is. Parents pay for them. Right. Gets to hang out all day. No pressure. I tell you, yeah, this broad wants to date me. She has no idea. Which I, I immediately make that move with a chick where I need to be taken care of. Yeah, me too. I, I try to fucking, you know, swindle them into that. It just sort of happens with me. <laughs> yeah, well, I try to have them. That you know, does everything. <laughs> yeah, it's great if you get a, a woman who's that caring. Yeah. But then if you don't, then your head's butt.
Like this chick right now has got the life. You know, she's managing a couple of porno stars out in Hollywood. Don't worry, you'll ruin that. Yeah, before you know what she's... <laughs> you'll fuck her whole life Before up. you know what she's making me a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, I used to have a life, and now I'm making you sandwiches. Shut up! The game's on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Eric the Midget to change the subject in Sacramento. I'm sure he wants to talk about American Idol. It's a big night. Eric the Midget is now voting for Sanjaya. Everyone now. Tonight's the night. Tonight is the big night. Everyone is voting. Hello, this is Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, vote Sanjaya. Thank you. All right. She wants to adopt Sanjaya. Eric, what do you have to add to this discussion? About Sanjaya? Yes. I mean, you called and it says here, wants to discuss American Idol tonight. Go ahead. Well, just, uh, you know, this week's Country Week. This week will probably... <laughs> country <laughs> Week? Yeah. yeah. How do you know that? I know that, actually. <laughs> I feel bad for both of you. Go ahead, Eric. This week will possibly trip up, um, like, Lakeisha and... Linda and Jordan, because the past seasons, when they've had Country Week, usually the African-American females haven't done that good. Well. All right. Well, thank you, Eric. We appreciate that thought. Uh, interesting analysis. Thank you for that racist thought. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> the bush boogies have been known to fall down. <laughs> Um, good job. Eric the Midget Racist. Headed hoes can't <laughs> sing country western. The birdheads haven't a clue as how to sing Hank well, Eric, Williams. Uh, we are all going to vote for Sanjaya. How many yeah, times? We don't care what the others are doing. How many times did you vote for Sanjaya last week? I told you last week was. 250. Right. So that is inspirational. And I, that's the most important thing. How is Sanjaya going to do with mm. Country Western? Sanjaya, it doesn't matter. No, no. We're voting for him regardless of how he does. He didn't even have to do a thing. He didn't have to, he doesn't have to learn the lyrics. Why sing? He should just come out and say, fuck yeah. you, I'm going to win anyway. i got guys like vote for the worst dot com and Stern behind me. I would love if he did. I'd love if he come out and said, you know what, I don't fucking need this show. I got Stern. I got vote for the, the worst. He's on the cover of People Magazine. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm huge, and I'm going to win anyway. So you know what? You get up and sing. I'm not your dog. What he needs now is the right team around him to wring as much yeah. money out of this fame as he possibly can for the next year or six months even. Send John. Right, right. As Eric? a matter of fact, he ought to just record Tiny Bubbles and then mm. make a whole career out of that. <laughs> All right, Eric. My theme song. Tonight is country night. This could be a big night for Sanjaya. We remind you to vote for him. Thank you. So is Ralph going to have a show? Uh, not that I've heard. Uh, maybe, but. Uh... Ralph's busy. Ralph's upset he wants to have a weekly show about American Idol, and I don't think Tim is going ahead with it. Why? I thought it was a big hit. Really? That's what I heard. But Tim. Why wouldn't you? I mean, American Idol's the biggest thing there Now's is. Now's the time. Well, well, Tim's an idiot, and I want to have Ralph have that show, too. Yeah, but for selfish reasons. Yeah, because you're on it. You're a featured guest. Well, I didn't say much when I was on it, but... You know, I, if there is another one, I will say more than I did the first time I was on. Keep your PJ pants on. We'll get to you. <laughs> oh, the Yankees suck this weekend. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You and your Oakland A's can fuck yourselves, too. Marco Scudero, foul ball home run. Yeah, you know what? Why don't you stick to country night? I th actually, I thought of Eric Dimitri and I wanted to strangle him. Mariano Rivera gave up a fucking three-run homer that lost the game Ooh. in the last fucking inning. A walk-off homer to little jerk-offs Oakland A's. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even our biggest home run hitter either. Like yeah, the game. other ones were striking yeah, out. Whatever. <laughs> Tim, what about uh, Eric Dimitri calling you an asshole because you're not having the... You're an idiot. An idiot. Eric, that's uncalled for. You should be fired, Eric. What's the deal, Tim? Well, the reason why we did the Ralph show was because you were on vacation that week. Yes. And we figured that you would carry it through with when you're here, and then uh, 
was yeah. necessary. I see. That was okay. to right. pump up the vote for Sanjaya. That's right. That's right. I see. Right. Hey, Eric the Midget, you're on the air. Good morning. Well, Good at least morning. it was more fun when, you know, Eric would have been gloating today. I know. But Thanks I know. Thanks for fucking I it up. he secretly is. Are you happy Sanjaya's off or are you sad? You want to know something? I played you. Oh, I knew I it. Knew it. Damn, you play it. I knew Damn. it. He didn't play us. He was he was very into voting for Sanjay. He's lying. You, now. Could, you could ask five people. Bullshit. They all knew I was doing this. Name them. You're such a liar. That's you know what? I don't like you. You're a little shit. You are. You're a little shit. True what they I say about little you. people. You're such a liar. Admit you're lying. Up. Admit you're lying right now and, and come clean. Well, you we're weren't never playing anyone. To you again. You were voting for Sanjaya. No, I wasn't. You're a liar. Where'd you get that recording, man? A friend did that. Bullshit. You never picked up the phone for Sanjaya? Nope. He's lying. Don't even believe him. <laughs> he, won he was part of it. Now he's, now he's said being a hero. You still got to put up with Sanjaya on that tour. And how is that playing us? Didn't play us. You always got to be in the in crowd, don't you, little fuck? Well, he figures he discouraged people from voting since it wasn't against him anymore. Right, exactly. The only playing Eric was doing is with himself at <laughs> night in his PJ pants, jerking oh. off that penis of his. Oh, Catherine McPhee, oh. <laughs> oh. I also want to know something that call that Johnny Frodo played for you. That was faked. Yeah, right. Keep Which call? Bullshit. Before you were you arranging that? a hit? No. Yeah, I heard you were running around saying no. that afterwards, trying to do damage control. You're so full of shit. Everyone knows you, Eric. We're wise to you. Johnny, where are you? You know it. Johnny's... John, Johnny, you know what? He was the one... You that were for Sanjaya. You, you are so full of shit. I came up with the idea for that, but Johnny came up with the idea for the phone call. No, it was... Uh, it, yeah. You know what? I'll know when you're... Johnny, first of all, I'll know when you're faking something. You're hey, not that Johnny. good an actor, no offense. Get Johnny on the phone. I don't care what Johnny says. And Johnny's no rat. Who came up with the wet the bed story? Yeah, and the PJ pants. <laughs> Those were the truth. Yeah. But they went at the bed. It stayed in the pants. Bullshit. How many guys pee their pants and it stays in their pants? You're full of shit. You're, you're, you're bullshitting like, like, like there's no tomorrow. No, I'm not. How do you not get pee on your sheets? Unless you're wearing rubber pants. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> PJ pants aren't going to hold in your pee. You pissed the bed. No, I didn't. They're super midget pants. <laughs> I mean, what, what, who's he kidding with that story? I did not. You don't just pee a little bit. No. I, for some reason, I can stop midstream. No. I don't know why, but I have been able to for years. How does that stop the wet from getting on the bed? Right. If you only, if you only go a little bit, only go enough to get it in... To wake yourself right. up? Right. <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't know. Idol's over. Time for bed. Oh. I'm in dreamland now. And I can pee whenever I want. There you are, peeing the bed. All over your PJ pants. And then now you're going to do some cockamamie story that you really weren't behind the Sanjaya movement. Well, I wasn't. I don't believe it. A big deal. So you came on the air and said you were for it. So how are you playing me? So you're a liar. No, I'm yeah. actor. You're a liar. An actor. You're not an actor. <laughs> you were lying. No, what have you done more in life, Eric? Act or lie? Lie. Yeah, it's not even close. He's lying now, too. I bet he's not even crippled. He's no, five I'm foot not. six. <laughs> I'm not lying. All right. Whatever. Who cares? I'm done with you. Is Still right? took you about three weeks to get Sanjay off the air, even if that was what you were up to. Yeah. Oh, well. 
Oh, well. <laughs> He's full of shit. Don't listen to him. Randy, go ahead and can him. God, you're burning me up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I hope that short little midget shrinks a couple more inches. <laughs> wow. You know I I'll throw him in the dryer. Then fighting words. <laughs> yeah, well, last week I came home. My girlfriend gives me an ultimatum. Either stop voting for Sanjara or she's going to leave. I, I, I told her oh, to leave. That's cute. Yeah, whatever. I told her to leave. I lost my girlfriend. Now so I, 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 I lost it. <laughs> whatever. What are you, you saying, know? Eric, back there? Good for him, loser. <laughs> yeah. You're calling him a loser? Eric, did you yeah. vote or not? Did you vote? Nope. No. You're so full of shit. <laughs> Eric's back to be Eric again. I know. I love it. Yeah. I think this guy. I, I missed him. I I have a couple kids, and if she if she takes me to court and have child support payments and all that shit over this, I am going to be super super pissed right off. Actually, more mad than what I am now. I understand. Believe me, Tom. You're on the air in Boston. <laughs> Yes, Tom. Tom, are you there? Hmm. Wake up, dumbass. <laughs> oh, Eric, all over everybody. Oh, he's in his glory. He's today. in his glory. St. Jaya lost. I'm full of myself. <laughs> what is it, uh, Danny? You're on the air in Boca Raton. Hey, Howard. Hey. Uh, this is Danny. I called before. I told you Eric was, was uh, playing you guys. He wasn't and doing anything. Great. He he's, he, he, no. He's... He, he, Please. He's telling us now he didn't vote. How is he playing the show by saying he was voting for Sanjaya? He doesn't play the show. Who cares what he does? You need to listen to this guy. He's correct. Because a, 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 a rat never changes his ways. That's why I knew he, was, he wasn't voting for Sanjaya. <laughs> oh, you're a rat. He is a rat. <laughs> Rich, you're on the air. The TV guide for next week, which was printed up weeks ago, yes. has a picture of Paula and Simon, and the caption says, whatever happened to Sanjaya? Oh, I know this was a fix. Mm. I know it. I, I, I read the... Uh... Oh, get over yourself, Stern. It's not a fix. Bullshit, Eric. Yeah, I'm telling you, read the end of the disclaimers after American Idol at the end of the show. It says the producers reserve the right to change the ending based on whatever they want. It was yeah, absolutely an elimination of votes. If they decide that the votes were somehow electronically helped, the they can eliminate. Was not here. <laughs> How does a guy go here. from being not even in the bottom three because he sucked every week to all of a sudden being the loser? And Simon Cowell's already smiling at the beginning of the show. I mean, come on, come on. The fix was well, in. You know it, and I know it. And I'll tell you no, something else about that show. Here's the thing: this week's country music, country music has a big fan base. No. Obviously, oh, you're so fan base uh, Sanjaya was worse. I love arguing with you. So I love arguing with him. Arguments. I love him. Fink, fan base. Fan base. <laughs> you don't know a thing. <laughs> I vote for the worst idiots. Oh, for four, isn't it? Andy, you're on the air. Hey, now, what's going on? Eric, I fucking hate you, you little piece of shit. And you know what? I'm glad. I don't care if you were lying or not. You still got people to vote whether you believe it or not. You fucking little midget. You understand what I'm saying? No matter if you lied or not, Howard, he still got people to vote for Sanjaya. If That's you think right. about it. Yeah, I mean, who cares what he does? All right, let's all calm down. Jimmy Fado, take care of this guy. I've been pissed since last night when I saw a little freak crying on stage. I'm pissed today. Yeah. Fucking pissed. Eric, I fucking hate you. You should be banned from the show at least three months. Howard, don't take his calls for a certain amount of time just to spite him. Get a life, jackass. Get up, you Get a life, you Stand up and say that, you little shunt. Well, a matter of fact, I am standing. You goddamn... Oh, oh, you little you prick. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping loads all over Eric the Midget's wheelchair. Midget fuck wet power chair. With parcher. What is it with this guy? <laughs> Something off. <laughs> <laughs> Wet parcher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Kelly Clarkson. Is this Eric the Midget? This is not Kelly Clarkson. This is more than likely high pitch, isn't it? No. Who's high pitch? This is Kelly Clarkson. I think you're very cute. High pitch. 
give it up. I know it's you. I know it's like this. Some people wait a lifetime. I'm going to hear the busy. Hello? Hey, how are you? It's KC. <laughs> okay. Hey, Eric, what's up with the Oakland A's this weekend? They won yesterday. How many touchdowns did the A's make? They won sport. Football, <laughs> baseball, my balls. What's the difference? They're all going in your mouth. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Come on, it's KC here. Nice. How many are those midget fingers? Can you fit in my ass? <laughs> None, because I wouldn't try. Come on, I got a lollipop for you. I don't give a shit. I got taffies for you, too. <laughs> Speak up, you fucking Ewok. So what games are you betting on this weekend? I don't know. It's Niners and Raiders. I like to, I like to raid you with my nine-incher. Nice. <laughs> hey, listen, you've been a good sport. Let me put Gary on the phone. Okay? Okay. Can, can you hold on? Yes. Hello, hello, this is Gary Delabate. <laughs> no, it's not. I can tell it's Eric. Or high pitch Eric. It's Gary. How are you? It's high pitch. It's I can tell the damn thing. Hi. Hi, this, hi it's Gary Delabate. Can I help you? <laughs> I'm here eating chocolate. Let's talk. High pitch. I can tell it's you. My voice sounds a little different because I have a mask on. I have a wellness mask on. <laughs> that ma mask makes you sound exactly like high pitch. This is the real deal, okay? Whatever. That's a great one. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I still think that might have been Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. At the very beginning? Yeah. Right. yeah. Those other people I'm not sure about. Well, whatever. Curtis, you're on the air in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I would love to show. Okay. Eric, when you buy the ticket this summer to go see the North Idol Tour, you're still seeing San mm -hmm. That's I'm, right. I'm taking, I'm taking that as a land in our book. Eric, you're going to have to steal him on that. He had his hole up on stage. He's going to be <laughs> singing. And you're buying a ticket to go see him. You hear that? So you're going to go see, you're going to go see San Jaya anyway. I'm not spending money on that, no. Yeah, you will. Yes, you will. What else are you going to do? You're going to have to sit through San Jaya, thanks to us. And that's it. Hey, let's go to uh, Mike. Mike, you're on in Staten Island. Hey, Al, what's happening, man? Hey, now. Hey, listen, going back to F Troop, the classic Chief Wild Eagle line, he says, uh, we attack at dawn. How are we afraid of Doc? <laughs> yeah, that was a great show. <laughs> How are we afraid of Doc? <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. It's still on, man. It's on, I forget what channel, but it's on uh, it's Saturday on night. TV, TV land, land. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe that's it, yeah. Remember Dobbs and Hoffman Mueller and Vanderbilt? Yeah, that was a cool show. They ought to put those out on DVD. Maybe they are. I don't know. Could be. I don't think they are, actually. Really? Yeah. Amir, you're on. I would love you, man. Hey, thanks, bro. Hey, I'm from Florida. I understand in Florida was a state devoted the least. There's no way. It took me. There were so many busy signals, and my girlfriend and I were trying. Oh, he won. Sanjaya. And I don't even I don't even watch that the show that much, but I was voting, and the week before I got about, I don't know, a good 45 minutes of voting. Thank God you had the uh, ticker on the, uh, my Sirius Satellite Radio. Yes. Because I, I got the number. We didn't know who to vote for at first because I was, you know, going to the show. Well, it's, uh, I'm telling you, there's, there's, it's questionable when our news department's going to investigate what happened. Tom, you're on the air. Hey, how are you, Howard? I love the show, man. Audie, you're great, man. Um, I'm, you know, thousands of people calling the show every day. I'm calling in to waste my time to say that, Eric, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> what the most, you're the most ungrateful piece of shit. And I just wanted to say, I, I drive to work, I listen to the show every day religiously. It's like a drug. And I, every time I hear you open your mouth, it's just like, you, I wanted to smack the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting a hold of bad coke. Yeah, right. You know, um, so, and I just want to say, Eric, I did something this morning you'll probably never do in your whole life. I, I stood up and I took a piss. Oh, that's not Now nice. they're getting oh, low. Now you're getting a low. Oh, my God. Come on. God, I've, been so doing that last, I've been doing that the last couple of days, jackass. Whoa, Whoa. Oh, nice. Hey. Is that true? You've been pissing standing up? Yes, I piss standing up. I don't piss any other way. I didn't even know you could stand up. Honestly, I'm not being funny. As long as I'm holding on to something, like right now, I'm holding on to my bed. You're just standing there, huh? Yeah. God, that's looking weird. At a, looking at a phone number that you could call it, the person could prove to you that I was from being 
being honest with you right now, telling you that I did not vote. I'm standing in my bed. Ever. Big crib. <laughs> standing by his crib? <laughs> Hello. Hey, Gary. Yeah. It's Sal. Hey, what's up? Hey, listen, uh, I don't know if you know this, but Eric the Midget just called me. He is really pissed at you. He said that he called you and you hung up on him. No, he did not. He didn't call me. All right, let me put him on the phone with you and you could talk to him about it. Put him on the phone. Hello, you big nose jackass. Oh, shut up. I, you didn't call me, you piece of shit. Don't fucking hang up on me. I didn't hang up on you, you midget. Don't you ever fucking do that again. Tell me something. Eric the Midget, are you in the wheelchair, you piece of shit? Can you, you ass piece of shit. Can you walk? Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Shut up. Piece you of annoying shit. sack of shit. Goodbye, you fucking midget. Wow. I forgot about that. Yes. F Troop is on DVD. Is it? Yeah. It's a cool show. All 65 episodes from the pilot to the finale. Yeah. I just bought the movie Charlie to watch with my daughter. Did you? Yeah, we're going to do a movie night. Is it's that just, the one with uh, Cliff Rob? Yeah. Where he is a retard, and then they give him super intelligence. And it's, then he goes back down. Yeah. It's a cool movie. Wow, well, there were 65 F troops. I guess what, what was happened was I was watching... Time, time, two! We were watching... Uh, <laughs> We were watching Spider Man and Cliff Robertson plays Spider Man's oh, right. dad. Yeah. So I said I said, That dude was in the best movie ever, won an Academy Award for Charlie. And I started telling her about it, so we're gonna do a movie day. You take know. it down, man. Like imagine if you could take Crackhead Bob and make him a genius. Ba 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 I don't think we're ever doing another Howard Stern Film Festival, but that was my idea. I was going to remake Charlie with Crackhead Bob. Thank you for everything. Jeez, that's that's ambitious. Well, not the whole movie, but it would have been like it would have been you know. Like, it opens up with Crackhead Bobby, and, you know, he's retarded. What you talk so, about, dude? It's yeah, saying shit like that. Right. Awesome. And then all of a Don't sudden, I would have... Awesome. Then I would have dubbed in, like, you know, James Earl Jones' voice. Uh-huh. You know, hello, I'm Crackhead Bob. <laughs> you know, <laughs> party kind. And all of a sudden, he's a genius, and he gets chicks, <laughs> and he's getting laid, and then all of a sudden, he starts to revert back into right. Crackhead Bob. I love when he goes back to, to being dumb again. He realizes that... Um, he doesn't have any jet shirts left because he threw them out when he was a genius. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, why is there no more uh, chance of a film festival? What happened? I, been... I mean, maybe there will be, but I'm not this, like, we usually we, do it yeah. in April. Yeah, it wouldn't be this year. Wait, the one year we did. The one year was going to become like a... <laughs> Annual thing. We wow, gonna... that was only a year ago. Yeah. Holy shit. And then I, we mean... were, I was going to bring it to Atlantic City and have all the fans, uh, you yeah. know, converge on Atlantic City with our film festival, but... I don't know. We couldn't get it together. Did that year not fly the fuck by? Holy shit. Yeah, aren't, aren't I done with my contract yet? I mean, you know, it's really, uh, you got, what, two? How many more years? years? Three and a half exactly. years. Exactly. Three and a half? That's yeah, enough. Pretty much. Not enough. Are you are you ready to be done in three and a half years? I'd have to be three and a half years from oh, now. Really? I'd have to be right at the moment. Oh, really? How would I know and uh, what I'm going to want three years from now? I know 20 years ago I wanted to quit. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that, you know, five years, it's not five years anymore. Three and a half is a much different, especially nowadays. I mean, everything goes so quick. Yeah. Blink of an eye, man. Three, three and a half years will go. Yeah. Better start making your plans now. They could make me Bill Gates. I still wouldn't go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You know me, though? I always end up resigning. Maybe I'm like a fuckhead <laughs> like I am. <laughs> You won't know. Yeah. Be all, It'll be like and Charlie. Ah. You don't know you're supposed to quit. You gotta, on some <laughs> level, wanna not fucking get up this early. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, but you see, I don't even know why we can't start doing the show. Everybody asks me, "You, what time do you do the show now?" I said the same time we always did. Well, everyone says to me, "Well, if you play it all day, what's the yeah, difference? What time you do it?" Why can't you do it some other time? I said, "I vote if we have to do it at six o'clock. Let's move to London." <laughs> no, I hate it there. Oh, come on, London's a great place. Chicks are all pasty. <laughs> but you know, you're not gonna, you're seriously not gonna start to enjoy yourself and all you've worked for until you you get rid of this. Schedule. Oh, oh, he's such an enjoyer. You've heard yeah. it in here. I'm having a party. <laughs> I got a big weekend planned. Hey, look, man, but you're still fucking... You, know, you might want to stay up. You what, know, is he going to start gardening? <laughs> Whatever the fuck you do. My greatest joy is fucking Beth, and that lasts like a minute. I can't even hold out that long. And then it's done. 
Boy, there's nothing better than fucking Beth. Already ought to try. Oh, <laughs> really? I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he ought to just let you have a test run, just so you can see. She's interviewing Donald Trump today. That would be Is awkward. Yeah. Well, they've, she's interviewed him before. Yeah, there's another interview. For what? Oh, extra? Yeah. She's interviewing him in his limousine. Oh, this time it, uh, he's going to fuck her. I know. Oh, <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Don't say that. Son Why of a bitch. Why do they now have to be in a limousine? Because he wants to fuck her. <laughs> Yeah, with his wife sitting there, and I saw the preview. She no, the no, with them. Wrong. She hasn't done the interview yet, and and uh, the wife isn't going to be with him. Oh, maybe it was the old interview clip yeah. they were showing. Yeah. Because I watch that show all the time. Yeah, I like that show too. I don't know, man. Your girl, your girlfriend's definitely better looking than a Tanika Ray. You're damn right. Who's Tanika Ray? One of their other correspondents. Yeah. Wow, well, this you? is a conversation you've left all, everyone out on. You are a little fruit, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what what man knows all of the correspondence? Of things? extra, yeah. Well, Eric, you know what? Oh, I don't like I don't believe of color. You. Anyway, so <laughs> I believe you did vote for Sanjaya, and I believe you were with us. And that's no, that. No, no whatever. I wasn't. You can scream. Sanjay! 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 They call that kid Sanjay. All right. I got to go, Eric. See, the reason why I wasn't with you is because I didn't want to... Destroy that show, unlike you. But I don't know why. So then, why you did would. you say you were for it? To get the other people that don't like me to stop voting, make in the no. number of your votes I less. See. No, maybe it worked. We'll see. Uh, I don't know why you, you evil to. genius. You're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you want to destroy that show. The only way, I hate it. Nah, because it was fun. I do hate the show. I was, was on board because I hate the show. It was great bugging Simon and freaking him out. <laughs> let me let me remind you something. If that show never existed, I would have never called your show. Oh, gee. Oh, that would have been a loss. And I would have been urinating in solitude. Because <laughs> Kelly Clarkson being on that show was the only reason why I started calling your show. Let me remind you of something, Eric. You're a no-life-having boob. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Do you mean once American Idol goes, you go from this show? I don't know. <laughs> All right, Eric, have a great day. Yeah. I'm supposed to be on air later with you guys for something. Will called me yesterday. Let me you scratch see. that out. That's canceled. Yeah. <laughs> we were playing you. Are we really supposed to have you on later? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Howard, we'll, we'll talk about it during the break. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. Uh, bye. Bye. It's Eric the Midget. Now with a full schedule. <laughs> Full day Let's see. I busted their balls about idol. <laughs> I'll go piss my bed and then wake up and do another segment. Ah, big, big day for him. Big day eight, in the office. Eight ten. Stand up. I like it better when Eric's against us. Yes. Sean, I like him better now. Now yeah. it's good. Now I can talk to him. Yeah. Sean, you're on the air. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. <clears throat> hey, listen. Uh, the reason Eric didn't piss the bed, he had some huggies on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Essentially, if you wanted to blow any, you could blow anybody you want. And your husband wouldn't care. Well, no, I no, I wouldn't say that. If n not really, I mean, there's. <laughs> <laughs> there's a list. Well, no, it's it's kind of no, but like it's like Eric the midget, the little guy needs to get off, damn it. And if I have to suck his dick to do it, I will do it. But he won't let me. He's uptight, and you know, he's my my husband's cool with that. He's crazy, that kid. That I should put he's, him on yeah. actually. Yeah, Harry, we should get, get him, him on. I wasn't going to put him on, but I don't get how he doesn't get a blowjob from Tabitha. And he's like, oh, she's gross. She's a porn star. And I'm like, no, Yeah, he said I have more plastic parts than Barbie. And, uh -huh. all right, granted, that may be kind of true, but come on. That's not that's I mean, not very nice. I mean, he doesn't know me. I'm least, a nice person. At least a hand job. It's more than he'd ever yeah. get in his whole life. Yeah, and, and I'll be cool about it. Remember right. Steve? Absolutely. And you his mom? Yeah. And, and nice. and well, I would take a, a nice hand guy. job from you any time, any day. I Can mean, I, I give you a hand job? No, not now. Oh, see? I mean, no. <laughs> You turned me down. Well, I'm you know I'm engaged now. I'm just saying that if I was Eric the Midget, I would totally get a hand job in two seconds. You know, I mean, what? I bet you're real good at that. Yeah, and I twist it and everything, and I use 
I feel lotion and to it. Yeah, I bet. Get in there. Bet it's good. <laughs> Why, you wouldn't do that? Uh, <laughs> I, guess. Like, I will put devil dog cream all over you. See, I, I, don't, I don't like <laughs> mixing food with that. I like oh, that. he likes to keep his sex and his yeah. food separate. Um, thank you, Rob. <laughs> Explain to me again why you wouldn't get a hand job from Tabitha. Because she's been with too many guys. But my hands are they you can wash them. I mean they don't have disease. Oh, and she's and I'm not disease. Like, she's sitting here naked. Why did you hear how many guys she'd been you want to make sure you get a good hand job. She's an expert. Yeah. But she'd come over to you. You'd spread your legs and she'd be naked and start jerking you off and you don't want that? That's crazy. No. Wow. Okay, some little virgin is not going to know what to do. Has another has a girl's hand ever been on your penis? Only a nurse to when I was in the hospital. I can dress up like a nurse. <laughs> the hottest <laughs> nurse you've seen. never had a hand on your. What was what was the nurse touching your penis for? Probably put a catheter in to help with the urinal when I was oh. in the hospital bed. Did you come from that? No. Oh, baby. Have you ever, have have you come, though? Yeah. You did? But only because he was manipulating himself, probably. Oh. Well, we'll just pretend, uh, we'll you use know my hand weird? and pretend it's you. You know the nurses probably touched more guys than Tabitha. And you weren't uptight about that. I'll wear gloves. You're nuts. There's something a little gay in all of this. No. Do you understand it, Robin? I don't know what he's holding out for. Catherine McVie isn't coming over. Not holding out for her. <laughs> I can't believe Tabitha's begging Eric. Yeah. And you know what? I, I'll even learn how to sing Kelly Clarkson songs and everything. You want to have some phone sex with him at least? I don't think he'll do it. Try him. Would you do she's, it? She's correct. <laughs> I like that about him. Why don't you he's honest, but he's honest. Why don't you take your pants down and let her get you off? And you can rub yourself while she talks to you. She loves talking dirty. You do, right? You're really good at it, talking uh, dirty. Yeah, I think. You're a professional. Well, if Nick can be two-minute Nick. <laughs> two-minute Manning, I think I'm okay. <laughs> Are they down? <laughs> oh. huh? Pull your pants off. Aww. No. Who do you no, think you're no. offending if right. you let is Tabitha any, talk to Is you? anyone there with you? Not in the room, no. All right, so pull your pants down. Let's see what. Let's do an experiment. No, I'm not doing that. Are you gay? Tell me, tell me no. why, am I wasting my time here with a gay man? No. Well, pull your pants down and let's get going. No. Start Can talking. we go to lunch? I won't touch you, I promise. I'll spoon feed you if you want me to. No, I don't need anyone to do that. Eric, have you ever had a prospect with a girl? Like, have you ever sort of met a chick that you wanted to be with or pursued? or? Oh, he's been with tons of chicks he he's wants to be with. still trying to get close to Diana DeGarmo. Well, you know, <laughs> so I'm a girl who hasn't been on American Idol. <laughs> oh, is he upset about San You know what you ought to do, Tabitha? <laughs> Lay down on the couch, close your eyes, forget we're in the room. Do whatever you have to do to yourself. Touch yourself. Do, like, we, do we have a do we have a mechanical device? Uh, Artie. What? Like vibrate for me. No, <laughs> touch yourself. Have some and, then, and have phone sex with Eric. See oh, if you can get in the mood. Sibian. Go ahead. Oh how funny. Oh okay. I'm gonna try it. This is silly. Okay. I mean, if anyone can get can this I leave my up, shoes on because I have to leave. Leave, leave them on. Okay. Do whatever you have to do to get in the mode. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. I mean, don't okay. Uh, I feel like. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to... Eric, I'm licking my fingers. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you lick yours? No. Come on, you're making this hard on me. Okay, wait, I'm touching it. All right, go Ooh, ahead. I'm twirling, Close your eyes. I'm twirling the bean, Eric. <laughs> Eric. I'll talk to you next week. <gasps> oh, you know, you buzz killed me. No, 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 me. just talk to him. Okay. Tell him what you, what you do to him. What I would do to Eric? Yeah. That's it. Well, I had to take down his little pajama pants first. You hear that, Eric? I'm gonna take your pajama pants down. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna take out that hello? nice hello. I think he hung up. Are we talking to ourselves? He hung up. <laughs> that little freak. What is with Eric? He's afraid of me. 
<laughs> well, you can stop touching yourself. It's over. He says I'll see All you right. next week. Is he hostile towards you for some reason, Tabitha? He seems like he doesn't like you. Not he's because he's very the, mean to her. You know why? Because in the cartoon, I pissed in his face, and it's not my fault. <laughs> I did. And when I saw that. I, people say to me, and, and I hear this all the time, oh, my God, that's disgusting. I can't believe that they would do that to you. I said, what? It's an honor. You're not <laughs> kidding. You crazy? Be animated. Go Eric the Midget, you're on the air. Hi, good morning. Hey, Artie. Gee, that team really sucks. <laughs> They're as much of, a loser, much of losers as you are. You hear that silence, Eric? That means you're never going to be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a comedian's worst enemy is that silence you just heard. Another thing Eric's not gonna be. Yeah, it's deafening, isn't it? I'm not gonna be center for the Knicks either. <laughs> you got a better shot at that than comedy. <laughs> Eric the A's. shitty comedian, how about that? The A's are tied for first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. When's the last time the, A's, the last time the A's won the fucking uh, World Series there was an earthquake. <laughs> way tied into you being a loser. You should oh. see the voicemails he's leaving me. Some of them are painful. Like You, you can't even get through them. But really? Yeah, I'm going to play them for you later in the show. They're funny as hell if you hang in there with them. Hey, uh, well, Eric does have, i got to admit, as much as I like to call him a fruit about American Idol, he does know a lot about sports. Uh, why is that, Eric? I, I, my theory is you don't have a life. I do have a life. What else do you do besides watch these things? Well, I, I it. stumped him. <laughs> I wet my bed. <laughs> so, this year, I've you know gone to Vegas and L.A. Oh, uh, the first couple months of the year, that's two things I did. What What did you do in Vegas? Just went uh, looking around at the different hotels and stuff like that. Nothing you have to keep secret, huh? <laughs> No. Yeah, like what stays in Vegas, what goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. Right, none of that. Well, it's so funny, you know. You talk about, you, you, like, like Eric, I love Eric, Eric the Midget. I love this kid, but the fact of the matter is, he he kind of leads you to believe he has no life because, like, you know, I offered him porn stars to screw and stuff. So uh -huh. he leaves me a voicemail message, and just the length of the voicemail message kind of tells you he's got nothing going on. And and in this voicemail message, he explains to me why he won't bang any of the porn stars. And basically, he's telling me because uh, the, I'm getting the wrong porn stars for him. Like, 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 like he has a lot of oh, options in this oh, area. Oh, I see. You yeah, just, listen to this. You're offering him the wrong one. And he just goes and he goes on and on and on. Listen to it. Hey, well, this message is for Howard. Listen, big nose. The reason why I'm not going for Tabitha or anyone else that you've put in front of me from the adult entertainment business is because of the fact that you are not finding the right ones. If you would maybe put Brandy Triple D, D from Brandy Triple D dot com or Brandy or Club Brandy dot com or Busty Bree from Busty Bree dot com, maybe then you would see get some kind of reaction. Now you see, I'm not going to play the whole message now, but but but. The fact that, first of all, that chick he's talking about, one of her tits is bigger than Eric. I was going to say, like, I'm listening to this Triple D and the other woman. I'm like, oh, yeah. he's, he wants his head between <laughs> two guys that, that are bigger than he is. Leads me to believe that Eric must be downloading and really watching tons of porn. Yes. And he's not coming clean about yeah. that. How much porn are you buying a month? None buying. You just go free? You go on the websites and you never subscribe. Oh, yeah, I do have a subscription to a few. Which ones? Well, the ones there that I mentioned. So how much is that costing you? Not that much. What do you do? Are you part of the club for that triple X chick, Brandy? Yeah. And what do you get? What do you get as a member? Just access to the site. That's it. You mean you're one of the losers she laughs at for being a sucker while she's fucking the guy she's attracted to? Because <laughs> that's what a club member is at one of those <laughs> websites. Does she ever send you special messages like, you know, a mass Hi, mailing? Eric. No, she no I don't think she does it for any of the people that are members. You don't get a live chat with that uh, membership? 
No, it's not on the page. No webcam? No, it's not a feature of the site. <laughs> so you pay a monthly fee. How many months have you been a member? For, I think, uh, since the beginning of the year, I think. How many times a day do you watch our website? I go to it whenever I get the chance. And how often is that? Maybe a couple t couple times a week. Oh. So when you want to whack trying. it, when you whack it, you whack it to Triple X Brandy. It's Triple D, not Triple, triple D. D. All right, Triple D Brandy. Right. What do you like about her so much that is so great? Well, unlike Tavisa, she's one hundred percent natural. Oh. And she still somewhat has the girl next door look. That's the kind of look that I like. And then what do you do? You whack it uh, on the website uh, in front of your computer? No, I don't do it there. W bullshit. Why would you be a member? You Or you look at it and then you go somewhere else and whack it. There you go. Yeah, well, why wouldn't you whack it in front of the computer while you're looking at her? Uh, it's called a mess. Or you don't want to get a mess in your computer? <laughs> can't you get a, can't you get a bunch of tissues so that you come into the tissues? Get a bib? No, seriously. Yeah. I'm being honest. I mean, why not enjoy whacking off to her website while you're watching her? Well, I don't know exactly why. We just don't want to make a mess. Ugh. But where do you go that you don't make a mess? The bed. I mean, everything goes on in that bed. You're telling me so much comes out of you that it's too big a mess? Well, sometimes. Sometimes, no. Well, your PJ pants must be crusty. <laughs> <laughs> I have to chisel them off. Let me understand some, Eric. I mean, you won't whack off while you're sitting at your computer because you feel it'll be too messy there. And you wait, you, you watch the website, then you get into your PJ pants and go into the bed. And you beat off what? You close your eyes and try to remember as much as you can from the website? <laughs> yeah. It seems like a lot of work. I, I, there has to be a way you can beat off. Are you afraid because you have a roommate you'll be discovered whacking off onto the computer? That too. Yeah. Do all your memories sort of mesh into one another, like with your baseball and everything? Like, did you ever accidentally jerk off to Barry Zito? <laughs> no. <laughs> so you whack off, and what do you do? You have a bunch of tissues there that you come into? How do you work it? So you don't make a mess. <laughs> Hello? Eric? Eric, what happened to you? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> we crossed the line. Eric! Did he leave? I was trying to hook him up with Brandy uh, Triple D, but Triple D Brandy or whatever her name is. I don't know what her name is. I can't even find her on the web. If he, that was very rude. I mean, I wasn't being out of line. If you think about what it. What did you say? We never went to that place with him. He never really got it, this into the jerking off thing. Well, he always claimed to be such a prude. <laughs> He ain't no prude, that kid. <laughs> anyway, you talk about jerking off, so that's out of town. And I figured, I thought I had this whole maturity thing going on where I'm not into porn anymore. I realized the victimization of women. and it's. You it's, see, it segues like that, you know. it, why you should be in the NAB Hall of Fame. <laughs> anyway, speaking of jerking off. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, there's Eric. Wait, we lost. Eric, I lost you. Yeah, I think the signal cut out on my phone. Oh, okay. okay. All right, I thought maybe I had offended you or something. No. Uh, by the way, Robin, there is a picture of uh, Triple D Brandy. Oh, there's, oh, my God. Well, she is the girl next door, isn't yeah. she? She's Eric. not surgically enhanced. Are you crazy? No, the, the site claims all natural. Claims. Those big, giant boobs you like? Those are yeah. too big. You like that. You're right. Eric's not as big as one of her boobs. All right. I belong to a site that claimed my dick would be three inches uh, bigger if I just stayed on there for a month. What is JD? She's no less a whore than Tabitha Stevens. I don't know why. She likes her look better. Right. Well, there's no hey, whores well, involved I, I mean, here, she buddy. She takes loads to the face like Tabitha. I don't know what the difference is. So. Does that turn you on when they drop the load on her face? <laughs> no. On her boobs? No. Yeah. Where are you uh, picturing it when you do it? <laughs> 
I don't know. <laughs> Wherever. Antonio Tony Wait, wait, wait I want to understand something. Uh, After you watch the nice. website, you watch it for a while, you get good and worked up. Then you got to wheel yourself over to the bed. Then you get in the bed. Do you do you, what? What do you do? You lay on your back? No. You're on what your you stomach. Do? Yeah. You do it on your stomach. Yes. You lay on your stomach and jerk off. Yes. How do you do that? Do you like fuck the bed? Do you like yeah? Do you rub up against the bed? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I know another guy who does that. Somebody else told us yeah they do yeah. it face down. I always thought that was weird. Well, so, do, like so you pretend the bed is the girl? Pretty much. Yeah. So you don't even have to touch it with your hands. You just kind of rub into the bed, and then you blow your load. Yeah. Do you use the pillow as, like, the girl? Like, is that her body? Yeah. And then you rub into I say, I've never jerked off like this. And then you just rub You keep rubbing into the bed. And then do you explode into the sheets? No. What do you explode into? My boxers. Your boxers? You keep oh. your panties on? Why do you keep boxers. your CJ pants on? Urine the, the, the. and goo. Oh. In one company. Dropping loads all over Eric the Midget's wheelchair. Midget fuck wet power chair. Wow. Whenever I stay at the W, I jerk off like that because their beds are wonderful. <laughs> I, I know another guy who does this, Eric. You're not alone, but it's very unusual to jerk off laying on your belly. With your underwear still on. Yeah, like why wouldn't you take? Why wouldn't you just come into a tissue so then you don't get your underwear all foul? I um, don't know. Is it part of the excitement to mess up your underpants? No. I don't understand why you're doing like that. Like in the middle of the day, you have to get to the bed and rub up into the bed. I usually wait till, you know, just before bed at night. Oh. Right. So I mean, if you watch her website in the afternoon, you got to wait all the way to the night to jerk off. Well, I don't go to the site in the afternoon. Right. You wait till you have to go to bed. Right. Do you ever fantasize that you could? Maybe watch her pornos while you jerk off? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Seems very, very depressing. You only have porn on the internet, you don't get the movies? I have the Girls Gone Wild DVDs. Oh, you have the Girls Gone Wild. Howard, what uh, What about them? Um, <laughs> that about... ain't good jerking off material. <laughs> Eric, I'm going to send you a bunch of porn, okay? Okay. Yeah. I, Gary, we got shitloads of porn. Let's get the kid a collection. This is pathetic. What about the disabled midget jerking off into his PJ pants? Do you find depressing, Howard? I'm not sure what's more depressing. <laughs> the fact that, like, well, I mean, just like the underwear is all gooby, and it's right. like it's full of goo. Well, yeah, if you think about you gotta it, gotta flip over and get rid of them, right? Yeah, then what do you do with your what do you do with your underpants after you're done? Like, don't you have to get out of the bed now? And what do you do with them? Or you just let it dry overnight? Like. <laughs> Oh, you oh. sleep in it. Oh. But but isn't it so, on the throw up? Isn't it so? <laughs> isn't it so wet? So in the morning you're like a, a, a ceramics class. <laughs> Aren't your underpants really wet? So like, isn't it uncomfortable to fall asleep? No, not really. Isn't it like stuck to your pubes and everything? No. I don't understand how that's not no, possible. I'm a guy. I'm telling you, the load can be oh, pretty please. fucking heavy, and it's like you know what? It'd be difficult to go to sleep with yeah, a load. Yeah, I'm figuring right. he's got several casts no. of himself now. Mm. Around. <laughs> <laughs> Has well, anyone to... ever said to you, like, I know you do your own laundry, but sometimes maybe somebody helped with this? Like, did anyone ever say to you, like, hey man, you, you got crust all over your underpants? No. Because this shit's... is why I know he wet himself that yeah, day. Look right. at what he can that, sleep in. Because that shit's got got a stain, doesn't it? I guess. Yeah, and like I'm, I'm sure, like if someone like saw you in your underpants, they'd say, "Wow, the dude's got." Who's doing his laundry? Yeah, like Beth does my laundry for me, <laughs> and like you know what, I do that thing, like old guy thing, where I, I dribble after I pee, no matter how much I kind of like try to control that and squeeze. Mm -hmm. And she goes, "This pee," like the other night I'm walking around my underpants. She goes, "You know, there's pee stains on your underpants," <laughs> and I went, oh. "What?" I go, "That's not pee." <laughs> she goes, "Well, what is it then?" I go, "No, I dropped some water on." She goes, no, that's pee. Your pee. She goes, there's a big pee stain in your underpants. I go, fuck. I dropped some I can't bullshit my water. way out of this. <laughs> I go, I, got a, I guess I got a problem. You did an Uncle Junior. <laughs> yeah.
No, I don't pee in my pants. It's like there's a dribble or two. Never wet my pants. <laughs> That's five years from now. Yeah, I'm sure I'm on the way. Now, as you get older, man, like pee, like it, like it's just the pee stream. gets out of control. Yeah, it's all fucked up. Everything. <laughs> you know, but uh, last night our guy, you know, so Beth wasn't there, so I figured I'd beat off. So I got a whole porno collection because we get so much free porn here. That's one of the perks. Right. So I go and I grab a porno, and I put it in, and I don't know where I got this porno. First, the guy, the president of Troma, you know Troma, the middle of those so, bad horror yeah, movies? Yeah, the Toxic Avenger yeah, movies. Yeah, Toxy. So he comes on and he goes, this is Troma, we, uh, we remastered this classic porno, and... I go, where did I get this? As soon as I see Troma, I know it's going to be bad. I said, uh -huh. hey, could it be possible they make bad porno? <laughs> so they remastered some old porno. There's like nothing going on. And it, you, you, you're led to believe it's a, a naked chick. I didn't even see any nudity. For the, I fast forwarded for 20 minutes. I go, fuck this. I took it. I got rid of it. And uh, I pulled out uh, just randomly a Savannah Sampson. Oh, yeah? And it was a great scene. She's with the dude and another chick. Can't go wrong with her. It's like she's the, it's and, like in the seventies. And and this was really when she was much younger. It was like her first porno. Right. Boy, does she look good in that? I beat off. So I, in fact, I was laying there going, "Don't come so fast because I'm enjoying this." But I couldn't even control it. <laughs> that's how hot the porno was. Well, that's a tribute to her. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> And she's dressed the right way. She's got the high heels and all yeah. that. But my greatest pleasure is to beat off while I'm watching my porn. This now, poor did, guy. There, was there any story at all, or did it give a right to the scene? Uh, there seemed to be a story, but I fast forwarded. Yeah. I went right to where they're fucking. Yeah. I, I, if there was anything wrong with it, the dude was wearing a rubber. But who cares? I don't care with the idea that. They'd be, what do you got there? You got some you stuff got for some Eric. Stuff for uh, Eric. What do you got, Richard? Richard's in charge of the porno. What are you going to send my man? Uh, Ask him with some titles and see if he wants them. Uh, Eric, do you want Tinker with my stinker? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's got Bree, uh, Bree Olson. It's anal. You into anal? Not really. He likes getting. He it. likes big boobs too. You uh, get here's it. one he might like: cream-filled milfs. You like milfs? Yeah, I guess. Older ladies. <laughs> Mom said, like the fuck? Okay, we'll set that one aside. Black dicks and white chicks, number 14. No, thank you. Give me that one. <laughs> you want that one? No. I, I don't care. Are, you, are you into that, Eric? You'd like to see black guys fuck white chicks? I guess so. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. little devil. <laughs> My man. <laughs> okay. Here's a good one. Fucker Jerome. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The whirly bird dunk on her. <laughs> we got uh, cum fart cocktails number four. Oh, yeah. I've got one, Did you two, see that one? Three. Yeah, it's got it Tori good? Lane. She's one of my favorites. Yeah. He said to me once. It. Okay. He, you know, it's just called cum fart. Doesn't mean anything. Do you have any black uh, guys fart. cum farting? Do you have any cum pajamas? <laughs> now, that, that one you're holding up in your hand right there looks good. That chick looks hot on it. Who's that? This one? Yeah. Uh, interracial sperm donors. That's another uh, black guy yeah, with white chicks, so we'll oh, send him that throw him all of those. <laughs> I like to see them fuck white girls. <laughs> oh, here's one. Here's a, a, a black lady with a white guy, Eric. You into that? It's called rectal intrusion. Do you yeah. like black ladies with white guys? I guess I'm not really watching it. Right. Well, I'll throw that one in there just well, to see. Okay, so we got some if he likes a little chocolate delight. Well, you got to find him some girls with big boobs. He really likes the big boobied girl. Yeah, like the sick kind of big boobs. Uh, yeah. The painful. What What could he ever do with those? Though? Like his hand can't be any bigger than their nipples. What would you do to that triple D girl? Whatever I could. Whatever he could. Do you have any midget porn for him? Uh, we could find some. I'm sure. You, yeah. Are you into midget porn? I don't really know. Some you know what Eric might like that we have is uh, extra hairy girls. Like girls that don't shave. You like that, Eric? Oh, really? Like the retro bush? Oh, really? Or how about pregnant girls? You like that? Yikes. No. <laughs> Nobody likes that. <laughs> Eric, you ever try jerking off with your hand instead of rubbing into the bed? I use my hand, too. Yeah. 
All right, well, now we get, we're going to send you all this. I got, I got with you into this, Girls with Psoriasis 3. <laughs> no. Do you have any uh, movies where the cast of Car Wash fucks the cast of Charlie's Angel? <laughs> 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 all right, Eric, look, I'm going to go. <laughs> and we're going to send you some porn, okay, pal? The, the other reason why I've not really gotten into that whole thing is because of that stupid website, Wikipedia. Wikipedia? What did he say? I he think. says the other thing he hasn't gotten into it is Wikipedia. No, no, no. I mean, the other reason why I don't ever accept your little invitation is, is because of that stupid website, Wikipedia, they... You know, end up, people end up reporting that crap on the website. So it goes into your bio. Right. Eric, uh, don't take this wrong, but what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nerd speak. Really? Yeah, I mean, well, who cares what's on your bio? Stop it's looking at Wikipedia. Yeah, get a life. <laughs> I'm going to be running for president. <laughs> you, know what? you know what? I've never looked at Wikipedia, and I never will. Oh, yeah, by the way, their definition of... A whack packer. I don't fit any of it. All right. Hey, what 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 was the other voicemail Eric the Midget left me? I gotta find it. Let's see. I gotta find it. Was it one about how he played you or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that? Oh, is he still carrying on about American Idol? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll get I'll get the word from Baba Bowie. Baba, come in here and tell me where that is. Baba Bowie. Come in here with your report. I do you do you you know where that is where Eric it's, it's on that same page where the voicemails are Gary uh, preview page, the ones in pink, it's right underneath um, Eric, high pitch Eric has gout. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's Eric again rambling about how he didn't vote for St. Jai and he fooled us. Like, uh, why would, who cares? Hey, Gary, it's Eric. I'm leaving this message because, you know what? I was completely fucking telling the damn truth this morning. I don't know why you fucking jackasses do not want to believe me. I would not ever vote for that piece of shit, no talent asswipe. That kid has less talent than Jeff has brain cells in his left in his head. No talent. I'm not going to vote for a no talent like that. And He's so caught up in it. They ruined that show. By the way, there was a blackout Tuesday night. There goes part of the votes for Sanjaya right there. <laughs> Half of the part of the country was in a blackout. Another reason Loser. I got to this morning. The <laughs> genetic fans didn't like that. You can see Eric in a movie like Revenge of the Nerds or something where he's like you're arguing about Tim and Jai in the boat. <laughs> I mean, you just sound like the biggest fucking geek. Really? How Eric. old are you again, Eric? Eric. He's gone again. Oh, he's got that problem with the phone. I can't even talk to this guy. Anyway, that's Eric. Time for Eric the Midget to call in. I'll let him have a quick word if it's such a if it's such a thing as possible. Hey, Eric. Good morning. Morning. I was calling to see if any of you guys, even though Sanjaya was gone, if any of you still voted. Hell no. Well, first of all, the show last night was like a, a like a telethon. They decided to do something called Idol Gives Back. All right, the show's a highly rated show. Oh, was that thing with Alan DeGeneres that I oh, saw right. on the yeah. paper? Yeah, and then they had, like, piece after piece of... What, did they do those little like video... What, video vignettes. vignettes between each person that, thank God, I started watching late, so I fast-forwarded through them. <laughs> oh, I mean, my God, and it was like, you know, people are just not watching for that reason, and I mean, it actually just was like, it was just horrible. And each vignette is Simon and the uh, Ryan Seacrest guy walking through Africa... 
with well, poor black Orleans? people. Yeah, well, that was the weird thing. <laughs> Africa don't look any different than New Orleans. It was weird. I didn't know one from the other. Like, one was this country, and, and, right. then, and, and it was like a whole thing to make Simon Cowell look like a good guy, which was kind of freaky. Who cares if Simon's a good guy? Somebody does over there. If you go to JD page three, in the bottom right green, it's, you know, Simon talking about how horrendous the conditions are. Yeah. And and it was like really weird. Oh, and he's critiquing critiquing the conditions. And and then I was thinking like, gee, the whole show is just black people not being able to manage for themselves. And it was like, you know, it was like enough already, enough. And and then they go, well, the big deal is is that the News Corp is going to give five million dollars to the cause. And I went, five million dollars? They make five million dollars a minute. Yeah, that's a commercial. Yeah, I don't. I mean, like you know, just give the five million. <laughs> And they, they shut the fuck I up. I bore the crap out of me. Right. Oh, it was unbelievably boring. But I wouldn't even watch it. I could care less. And, uh, by the way, Tim Stack wrote me, you know, he says, hey, did you watch? He goes, I know you watch Idol like me because we're both gay. <laughs> he said, but uh, he goes, did you notice that Simon Cowell and uh, uh, didn't change his shirt? Was he there just for one day? They probably flew him in. Yeah. <laughs> because Ryan Seacrest and Simon Cowell, and they go all the way to Africa, and every time they're visiting someone, they're wearing the same exact shirt. <laughs> like, they must have flown them in, they shot some B-roll real quick, and then and just put some voice over to it. Are you sure it wasn't uh, CGI, you know, like they did a green screen? You might be right. <laughs> I, I want a full investigation. Boy, did that look like a bunch of horse shit to me. I don't know. Uh, there's but no way they see. were in Africa. <laughs> Here, I'll play it for you. Simon Cowell, Africa. Oh, no, I never meant to do the harm. Picture the visual. It's like little tiny black children, cute as can be, like shoving food into their mouths because they don't get any food. Like little birds. Oh, yeah, yeah, get a worm yeah, yeah, like from the white man. It was kind of depressing. I'm gonna have to go over there and adopt a kid. They keep this up. I know. <laughs> you know what, Robin? Go to go to the South Bronx. Save a kid there. The same exact thing. No, 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 no. I gotta go to Africa. Get she wants press. to be in with the in crowd. <laughs> That's right. Right. You Robin, while you're press. there, can you pick a couple? Of no, them? it's not news when a black person adopts a black person. Oh, it will be because no black person ever. That's did. true. Oh, that's true too. <laughs> Is that true? That's not true. <laughs> I can't think of I one. I haven't heard of one. You should adopt a Puerto Rican kid. Don Cheadle said he was trying to adopt a white kid. <laughs> Did he say that? Yeah. That's fine. Oh, this is just intolerable. It's not uh, in good condition. This is it's terrible it. conditions. And it's just unbelievable. What inside? <laughs> it's just wrong. This is quite literally hell on earth. I have never seen anything like this in my life. He could have been talking about Sanjay. As long I was going to say, that's the same critique he gives to the singers. <laughs> literally. That was literally hell on earth. And he's wearing the same shirt, so if he was in Africa, he was in there for like ten minutes. Exactly. Couldn't he didn't even make nah. a sweat. I want to know the exact amount of time they spent in Africa <laughs> learning about Africa. This is literally the most horrid place on earth. Now, quick, I have to get back to the ivy. <laughs> this is literally ten minutes of my time. Really? Yeah. That was really, really uh, too much. And then the kids each sang socially relevant songs. That's what I heard they were going to do. Did you vote, uh, Eric? Because if every vote, then 10 cents was donated to something by News Corp. Right. Yeah, I voted. I cannot spread the votes around. I voted for like, you know, a few of the people. Why would you do that? You're so silly. Why don't you vote for your favorite? Well, because the cliche of the one that's my favorite didn't exactly do all that great. So who did you vote for? Listen. I voted for her a little bit, but then I voted for... Some of the others, yeah, but you got to pick a favorite. That's the idea of American Idol. You don't vote for everybody. I know you oh. wanted to get, do, get involved with Idol Gives Back, but <laughs> just to make all your votes for the same person, right? Of course, because if you, if you're really backing Lakeisha, you got to forgive her one bad week, right? You know, you're not being fair. We forgave for, uh, Sanjaya every week. <laughs> Who was the best one last night? Probably it would be. Between Chris and Jordan and Melinda. So why don't How you many people are left on the show? That's <laughs> half of them, isn't it? <laughs> he can't make up his mind. He's having a hard time. 
photos. Look, I'll videos. clear it up for you. The most talented singer is Melinda. Yeah. But I don't know. Who's going to go see her in concert? Not me. I, well. <laughs> like I said last week, I'm not spending any money on that tour this year. Because of I didn't, I didn't. If I didn't go to last year's tour with Kelly Hickler and Catherine McPhee, there's no way I'm going to this year's spending money to go to this year's tour. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Eric. Uh, Have you gotten your porn yet? I think they put a packet of porn together for you. I gave Richard my address. So we sent you about ten pornos. Hardcore. Okay. Should and I tell Richard him what he said, did? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. no. From what I heard, Richard said that he did a gay porn in there when he was <laughs> you heard. on the wrap-up show. Yeah. Take that out, Richard. It's already in the mail. You're getting yeah. a gay porn. Yeah, I said they blew it, though. Box. I told the guys they should have put it in the, you know, the regular porn box. That's what they They left it in the gay porn box. Yeah. Uh. Hell no. But he would have accidentally put it like he would have thought he was watching Jenna James, and he put it in and see two guys fucking each uh. other in the ass. <laughs> when does Jenna show up? <laughs> that would have taken him a few minutes to realize, too, you know? Oh, no, it would have taken a lot less than that. No, nah, you would have thought Jenna Jameson might show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of them's a gay porn. What's the name of that gay porn you're saying, Eric the Midget, uh, Richard? Yeah, because they were thinking maybe you couldn't ask for it. Shoved it in there. Well, J.D. knows. What is it? It's called Daddy's Discipline. <laughs> <laughs> J.D., you gotten anywhere with that guy's wife? What? You gotten anywhere with that guy's wife? Who? A guy told me on AOL that you're trying to hit on his wife online. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you Maybe. Really so? All right. All right, Eric. Thank you. you. The gay. badass hits on a lot of chicks online. Yeah. That's all I hit him on. What is it, Richard? That's some good gay porn, by the way. You should check it out because it's the guy that we play that goes, uh, you want to play? I'll play with you. I'm going to play hard, too. Yeah. Our oh, favorite guy. Classic. Yeah, Jason Branch. You think Eric should watch the gay porn? Yeah, it's, probably it's funny. He probably will. You want to play? I'll no, play with you. I won't. We'll play hard, too. You'll watch it. I'm going to have some fun with you. <laughs> <laughs> You won't even watch it from a humorous standpoint. I don't care how drunk you were. Oh! I have a whole wall of tricks here for you. Play my game, yeah. I'm going to play? I'll play with you. I'm going to play higher, too. Oh! 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 Do you, you give me your You don't talk to me unless I talk to you. You understand? Yes, sir. All right. Now we have an agreement. You may not remember it. What's the guy naked with this? Oh, yeah, with a big boner. Mind, so I'm done with you. <laughs> understand? Do you understand me? Oh! Do you understand me? <laughs> I love his boner. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Good. <laughs> Come on, Eric. Don't tell me you're not a little curious to see what that looks like. No, I'll return it to you guys when I see you guys at the Killers of Comedy in June. Okay, after you watch it? No, nope, I won't watch well, I it. I bet that box will be open. <laughs> I you're going to be it. walking around with gay porn at a comedy show? <laughs> you're going to show up to the Killers of Comedy with your gay porn? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, Eric? <laughs> gay porn. It's my copy of Daddy's Discipline. <laughs> Yeah, power midget bottom. <laughs> That's gonna be funny when he shows up with a gay porn. I hope you, they start yelling out, hey, this guy's got gay porn. Understand that? Yeah. Do you understand that? Yes. I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have some fun with you. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's right. Who's boy are you now, huh? I'm not answering that question. That's right. You're my boy, aren't you? Yeah. Whoa. You like that? Yes. Huh? 
I hope they have like a metal detector at that club and his DVD sets it off. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got in your pocket? Young man, we have to pull you aside here. What is this? <laughs> Setting off our metal detector. Oh, oh, master's discipline. <laughs> Sorry. How would a DVD set off a metal detector? Metal strip in it. No, your wheelchair would, but they'd find the DVD when they frisk you. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. How are you going to bring that porn to a, a show? Are you going to put it in a paper bag? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> or your man purse? No. <laughs> I don't have one of those. All right. Maybe you need one for your gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> a gay bag for your gay porn. All right, Eric, i got to go, man. It's, for some reason, my series isn't working right. Uh -oh. so when, when Stone Cold gone to somebody... Give me a call so I can hear the interview. No, bye. <laughs> call Eric when Stone Cold is on. Oh, that's funny. You got a question for Stone Cold? Yeah. Maybe we'll, we'll pop up on it. I also like when he calls. Like At some point, his phone must go very far from his mouth because yeah. you can barely hear him. He's like, Wah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a question for Stone Cold? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, what's it like to be more than two foot eight? <laughs> what's your question for Stone Cold? I'll, I'll screen it ahead of time, make sure you're on the right track. I just want to know, given the fact that, you know, I'm a fan, I wanted to know if he's going to be involved with the WWE programming anymore this year. That's a no. Bye. <laughs> All right, I'll put you through. All right, I I'll talk to you know. later. Give Goodbye. Like gay midgets. I'll try to put you through. Don't hold me. Gidget. Right. <laughs> he's a gay midget. He's a gidget. <laughs> a gidget. All right, Eric. Go have your wet dream now. Here's Steve for you. Go ahead. Ask your question. It's Eric the midget. Good morning. <laughs> I, I wanted to know if you were going to be involved in any more WWE shows, you know, pay-per-view or regular TV shows. He's been waiting four hours to ask you that. <laughs> you know, I, I'll probably I have a long term contract with WWE, and I, you know, I don't see myself uh, stepping back in the ring unless it was just an unbelievable type thing, which I don't see happening. Uh, I know that uh, WrestleMania is going to be in uh, Florida next year at a big outdoor football uh, stadium, so I could possibly be a part of that if they find something for me. But uh, as a regular on TV, no, because they need that valuable TV time for the men and women that are out there trying to draw houses and and uh, draw TV ratings. So I don't see that happening. Is that okay, Eric? Yeah. In other words, he's not interested. So what what do you think of some of the... Oh, no. Follow-up question. Sorry, Steve. Today. This guy's a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I like uh, I like there's a guy out there named Ken Kennedy that I like. I like what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, pretty good at running his mouth. He, he's getting better and better in the ring. Uh, you know, there's a couple other guys that just need to put it together. It's not an easy thing to put together. It, it took me seven years, and it took me getting fired uh, before to I really through. put it together. It is. I mean, people don't understand that. And sometimes I think uh, that you know people think that uh, you know wrestlers are just retards or whatever. But to get to the very top level, and, and using the psychology and everything like that, and marketing, come up with something with some marketing, something name, different. I mean, God dang, you better be half-ass smart. Right, uh, Eric the Midget, you're on the air. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Don't tell me you liked American Idol last night. I bet you were even pissed. It was all right. It wasn't what I expected it to be. I thought there, I thought Carrie Underwood was actually supposed to be in the theater instead of on video. Did you drop a load yet today? No. Did you drop one last night? No. Did you think Kelly Clarkson was fat? She still looked good. Yeah, you like her still? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you like her song? Unwatchable. What, wasn't it a cover or something? Yeah, but it sucked. Right? You admit it was bad, at least. I, I don't know, really. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever heard the original version to compare it with. Did you ever beat off to Kelly Clarkson? Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> Imagine, like someone said to me, the thought of Eric rubbing himself into the sheet <laughs> in his bed and then wetting his underpants, his pajama pants, and then sleeping in it yeah, all night. Yeah, lying there. Sleeping in his own mess.
It's like a swamp in my underwear. Will any of you guys donate money? Hell no. Didn't even... I mean, they ran me away. I wouldn't... Yeah. They, they made me hate the cause they were promoting. I don't want to see them be successful. They're, <laughs> they were like, oh, we're up to $30 million. They went, shit. First of all, $30 million is probably what they make a week with that show. They could have just donated the money themselves. I'm sure they make more two shows. Rupert Murdoch's worth about $17 billion. And they expanded the second show to an hour? I like it's Idol Gives Back, and then guess who's donating all the money? We, the viewer. Yeah, why are they begging from us? It's not Idol Gives Back, it's Idol Viewers Give Back. Well, it's also the companies that are tied to Idol Gave Back, yeah. too. Yeah, right. Not yeah, but Idol. Idol's not giving anything. Idol's giving five million. I mean, that's, to, a, that's a pittance. Listen to this mini mogul. He knows about the tie-ins and the corporate. Well, they make that very clear. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, one everybody's big, in it for the PR. It's one big commercial. Hey, fat ass. What's going to be a bigger number at the end of the year? Your weight or the Yankees' ERA? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping my weight. <laughs> That's what I'm shooting for. Yeah. I don't know, man. That was real bad, that show. Did you give money, Eric? No, if it was at the start of the month, I probably would. But the end of the month, I could have to wait for my SSI check. Well, they would have taken yeah. the money as a pledge. You don't have to give it, like, today. Okay. When you get your SSI check at the beginning of the uh, month. You send them a check. You send them money. So they didn't even get any money out of you. <clears throat> no, I think you're able to go to AmericanIdol.com and probably still make a pledge there. Are you going to? Eric was probably like, you know what? Those little black kids are taller than I am. I've got <laughs> it way worse. About? Yeah, well, they've got it good. <laughs> they can walk. Did you think that? Tell the truth. No. I, f I forgot to go to idol.com to go do that weekly contest to, in order to win 100000 Who do you think has it worse? You or those little black kids in Africa? They do. You'd rather be You'd rather be you than a little black kid in Africa? How do you figure you have it better than them? Because at least I get food and I have a full full roof over my head. Yeah, but you can't walk her in a wheelchair. You're living on borrowed time. You're supposed to be dead already. Right. Everyone thinks you're a dick. And I soil myself. And you're beaten <laughs> off by rubbing into your pajama <laughs> pants. At least I'm not a fat ass. Right. Would you rather be you or me, Eric? I don't know. It's kind of... It's me. You'd rather be you than me? Yeah. My God, I'm going to leap off the Chrysler building. <laughs> so if I said to go you... Ahead, go ahead and make a big mess on the street. <laughs> it's not bigger than the mess in your PJ pants. <laughs> Sorry, if I said to you, if I had the power to, and I'm not saying I don't, but if I had the power to, I could switch you with a little black kid in Africa. You'd have full use of the legs. You'd grow up full height. You might be adopted. And uh, who Madonna knows? Madonna could adopt you. <laughs> You'd rather still be you. Yeah, with, with all those different diseases that are going on over there, no way. All right. There you go. So those kids have a pretty bad. They <laughs> must have it really bad. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty revealing. Yeah, but those kids grow up, they get laid, they get to the fuck women. They do. They get AIDS. Then they die. No. <laughs> Someone ought to educate everyone over there. Or something. I don't know. Well, the men think they can get rid of the AIDS by screwing a virgin. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Those poor virgins, they're always getting the bad end of everything. Right. Did you get the porno yet? No. Probably today or tomorrow. Did they FedEx it? Yeah, uh, Richard, did you FedEx it? I mean, how long has this guy got to wait for his porn? Man's in dire need. You sent him like nine or ten pornos. How many pornos did you send? Ten? About twelve. Twelve? Yeah. We sent him out yesterday. He should get him... Uh... You FedEx? Yeah. 
yesterday. But you guys are slow. Well, we, we talked didn't, about it two days ago. Uh, he didn't even give me his address till oh, really? like later that night, and and we sent him out yesterday, the night after we got his address. And you put that gay porn in there too? Yeah, Daddy's <laughs> discipline. Daddy's discipline. <laughs> you gotta at least check it out, Eric. No. So you will. eventually got to slip one into a different box and send it to me. Yeah, you kind of blow it. <laughs> wow. Well, they have la they have a label on the actual DVD. We well, have he might to not label them. He might not have realized it. Yeah, you know, he might be so anxious he just throws it in. I don't Let know, me the, see what this is. The big cock on the DVD might give it away. <laughs> yeah. act, there's a huge cock on the DVD itself? <laughs> I think so, yeah. That's just intrusive. <laughs> I got a whole wall of tricks here for you. Play my game, yeah. You wanna play? I'll play with you. We'll play hard too. Oh, <laughs> you are, man. You're not gonna watch this? Yeah, you you are Aren't you dying to see that guy? <laughs> Do you? We also sent him a, a DVD of like hairy bushes and pregnant women. <laughs> right? What, is that combined in one DVD? No, two different. DVDs. Yeah. They can get pregnant women to do porn. Sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's money in the bank for the kid in the future. <laughs> crackheads get pregnant. Crackheads get pregnant too, Robin. That's a college fund. Okay. Right. <laughs> JD's got a whole big box of gay porn under his desk <laughs> in his studio. Just, you box it all up and send it to Eric. Yeah, I know. It's all that one guy too. Like we wrote this producer, Tom Ropes McGurk, he, and he's like produces these movies with this Bernard's guy. brother. Yeah, and he sent us this big box, so we we got plenty of it. Plenty of gay porn. Yeah. Just rebox it into heterosexual porn and send it to Eric. <laughs> or regular porn. <laughs> <laughs> right. Normal porn. Real man's porn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Eric. No, we didn't. Do we didn't donate to idle charities. What do you think, Eric? Though you voted a few times the other day, and they didn't vote anybody off, so you all your votes were wasted. Oh, no, no, they're not. not. They're being carried over. Really? So yeah. they're going to add these results to next week's results? Yeah, Eric didn't waste his time voting. And they they vote out the bottom two next week. Oh, so two people go. Right. You know, I was thinking with. Uh, hey, thanks, Eric. I was thinking about this. Um, can't believe he did any beat off last night. I bet. By the way, I don't he, doesn't want to say. he doesn't want to say. I bet no, you I did beat off. No. What'd you do instead? If I was you, I'd beat off every night. <laughs> right. What'd you do? Just watch TV. And you didn't think to roll over on your stomach and rub into the mattress? No, because I was sitting on my chair. How long has it been since you beat off? I don't know. He knows. You know, I, oh, you know who's on the phone? Captain Catfucker. <laughs> we haven't the, talked to him in a while. This is the guy who banged his cat. Yeah. Sick bastard. Send him to Siobhan's website. Hey, Captain. Hey, now. Hey, now. Eric, you still on the phone? No, I hung up on him. Fuck, man. I needed to ask that little midget something. What'd you want to ask him? He's such gold, man. He is so funny. Yeah. Hey, how does he uh, how does he beat off with his boxers? Doesn't that rub on his head? Doesn't that rub it raw? <laughs> no. I mean, it worked for me. I've tried that method, and trust me, man. It started ble Well, it didn't start bleeding, but, you know, it's left a little rash down there, if you know what I mean. Look at you with the ace bandage. Funny. I don't understand how you walk. You didn't notice a hard on. You probably like waddled on <laughs> yeah, the yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, you like, couldn't walk, bro. Well, I waddle on anyway. like this. And they're like, hey, is everything all right? It really like, isn't that bad because I don't do it like duct tape or something. It's just, <laughs> it's just an added, it's an added obstacle for my monster cut. <laughs> hey, Eric, do you believe this guy? He, he, He's bandaging his cock. He ace bandaged his cock. I don't think I would ever try that. All right, buddy. I don't, think it's gonna, you don't I think you need to worry about Time that. Time to bring the show to a when, screaming halt. When he gets his shot on Rescue Me, there'll be no ace bandage. My cock will flow freely. <laughs> if you were on Rescue Me, you had a love scene with a really super beautiful girl, would you ace bandage your cock, Eric? No, I would try to find some other way maybe to hide that. You'd prevent a hard-on from being gay? No, I'm not gay. Why do you say he's gay? He's saying he wouldn't even wear an ace bandage. He'd, right. He'd let it fly free. He'd hope that cock would fall right into her <laughs> vagina. How big is your dick uh, hard? <laughs> Didn't I go through it with you guys last year? Well, how much? We forgot. You mean you didn't memorize that information? Unfortunately, no. You said he measured it was five and a half inches. 
You right? gotta be, remember that. You gotta be. Oh like, yes. <laughs> you gotta be like the Ron Jeremy of midget. I that always sounds... remember the size of a man's cock. <laughs> Is that true? Do you remember that? Five and a half. I'm right about that, right, Eric? I guess I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's odd that he remembers so well. Hey, if you ever meet Carrie Underwood, you better um, ace bandage your cock. <laughs> you get a boner. <laughs> or Diana DeGarmo. How did you think up ace bandaging your cock? I, I thought of it all by myself. <laughs> yeah, when he said that, I was like, what? What, what, what? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I had to give it what, an what? obstacle. <laughs> hey, you look ridiculous. <laughs> hey, Mo! Poor I got Artie. ace bandage on my cock. Gets a nice love seat with a hot chick and he ace bandaged his torture. <laughs> you didn't have right, it was problem. torture. It was torture for me. You didn't have this problem on Entourage. Why did you think you'd fly free or break loose? Well, I wasn't in a, we didn't have a sex scene in Entourage. You, you bit her ass. Yeah, but we weren't in bed. Right. Yeah, she couldn't feel his crotch. <laughs> All right. Would it be amazing right. if your cock ripped through the ace bandage? Yeah, the ace bandage is lying all over the Now, see, if that plane. happened, then I, would have been, then I would have been proud. Yeah. A raging boat. Like, oh, my God, this man just ripped through a, an ace bandage. What, he... what just ripped? You can't stop my dick. <laughs> oh, my God, he just ripped through an ace bandage with his dick. Then we'd have to nickname your penis the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a nickname for that's, a penis. That's Dick Banner. Dick Banner. That's a good one. Dick Banner. Dick Banner. Hey, hey. Isn't it true your cock is called Dick Banner? Because you broke through an ace bandage? The Incredible Hulk. That's correct. What a great nickname for a cock. The Incredible Hulk. Then you kind of knack it like Houdini. Impress girls by wrapping chains around it and then you break through. I'm, gonna, I'm a breakout artist. I'm going to break out of these chains around my cock. My penis is an escape artist. Right. Get punch my dick in the stomach. <laughs> Eric, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Eric hangs. Eric will hang all show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Artie, what, what one of these three losers will be fired first? Mariano Rivera, Joe Torrey, or you from your next acting job? Well, I'd probably go with me for my next acting job. You see that dumb fuck fuck? Fucked up with under game for the Yankees on Friday. You wouldn't want Mariano Rivera on the A's, Eric? Is that what you're saying? You turn that uh, down? Not the current version. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> you're a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> Me over Mary Anno. We were talking about a love scene. What are you talking baseball? We're talking about ace bandaging your yeah. penis. I'm clear. <laughs> this Houston Street Canal pitch Mariano now. <laughs> little fuck. Did you get those porns in the mail? Yes, I did, and I tossed the gay one away. <laughs> I he didn't even open it. I, I bet that he's disciplined. Was out, prominently was displayed. Out, you it watched. Was already opened by somebody, but at your guy's place. Yeah. You didn't watch any of Daddy's discipline. Nope. Tossed it with the box. How do we know that? How do we know you didn't look at gay porn? Come on. <laughs> I'll take a quick peek. Whoa! Did you look at some of the package? Did you look at some of the other titles? Yeah, the one that had Brandy Taylor in it. What was the name of that one? The Gigantic Titties Two. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> he's into that. You beat off to Gigantic Titties Two? No, guys can watch that without doing that. I mean. I've yeah. never heard of that. I've never Why would I you fucked that? my mattress what? ten times. No, but what, uh, okay, so I I know you your story. At, at bachelor parties, you think they're all sitting around with their, you know, what's out doing that? Why yeah, but watch? you're not at a bachelor party. You're at home. Guys, why would a guy watch a porno alone without jerking off? Right. Because his computer the is in the room where his roommate is. We went through this. He's got a problem. His computer, he can't jerk off to his computer because the computer is, like, stationed in a main room where... Everybody so could watch. What he does is he watches oh, a porno and stores it up in his head. It's in my room, but... The, yeah. It's yeah. right across from my door. So why don't you lock your door? Put the radio on. What, do you make a lot of noise? What are you saying? No. <laughs> oh, you mean you have a door and you can close it and jerk off? Yeah, I don't think there's a lock on the door. You don't think there's a lock on the door? Pretty sure. Not. So get it to not disturb, son. Well, once you close the door, was your roommate barrel in? 
sometimes. Yeah, well, I'm trying to what time of day. Well, tell him he can't be doing that shit, man. You need some jerk off right. time. All you need is a little sign that says, <laughs> don't bother me now. Can Everybody needs you're... jerk off time, man. You're, how old's your roommate? Same age. So then say to him, hey, I'm going to go jerk off. Don't come in. All right. Hey, let me ask you something. I just thought of this. When you threw out the gay porn we sent you, aren't you afraid the garbage man will find your gay porn in the trash can and think you're gay? No. What if he sees it in there? And then he goes, oh, shit. Eric's gay. Eric's gay. It's in the... There's still houses being worked on in this new area, and it's in one of their dumpsters. It's like an episode of Three Are you saying no one can trace it back to your house? It, 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 it means, though, that someone, the garbage man is looking going, hmm, someone in this area is right. gay. <laughs> <laughs> you should have written a note on it. Look, I'm not gay. This was sent to me. Just throwing out. Because <laughs> what if the guy gets, traces it with fingerprints? And he sees Eric's fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my palm print. Uh, you won't have my fingerprints. I was the one that opened it. My roommate opened the box. Uh. And he wore gloves. <laughs> I better wear gloves so I, when I handle the gay porn, they won't see fingerprints. Well, what they'll say, Eric, is, boy, that guy's pretty. It's sad. That guy has to open up Eric's gay porn. <laughs> How do you know the garbage man doesn't know it's your garbage? You're saying there's one giant dumpster for the community? Oh, so he said, I'm not putting this one in our dumpster. I'm going to get this gay porn over to another dumpster. Right. Wow, look at what went on with this gay yeah, porn. Yeah, they're trying to get it as far away <laughs> as possible. So you mean he could have put it in your dumpster, but he chose not to because he didn't want to be accused of being gay. Right. Wow. I didn't <laughs> thought that went into this. I was only kidding. <laughs> Did he throw out the gay porn at night so no one could see him throwing it out? Pretty sure he did. Yeah. Did he wear a disguise? <laughs> he wore a stocking mask. <laughs> and a hoodie. You realize what we did by sending him gay porn? Like oh, he had to dispose of it. Wear camouflage pants and use night vision goggles. Gay, like a, you gay, like porn, a... gay porn gets all over the place like dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, He's like, he was like a mobster trying to get rid of a body, you know? <laughs> like, where we dispose it. of this gay porn? If I, yeah, if someone said, you, you, right, I would drive like eight miles away. And you put it in the trunk of your car <laughs> and bury it. Look for a place to dump yeah, it. Yeah, but then what happens if you get stopped and your car gets searched yeah. and it's full oh, of no. gay porn? And you're in Officer, living hell. This you're in is living not hell. my gay porn. Uh, he rolled sure, the, buddy. He rolled the porno on a carpet and dragged it out. <laughs> Took it out on a boat and put chains on it. There you go. Drunk it. Drunk it. Drunk it. <laughs> it out three miles. Internet. Waters. He did a big pussy on it. Bring me some cement. So, your roommate opened it. You saw the gay porn. He said, I'm going to dispose of this. Right. And he went out at night. I assume you got the package in the morning, so he had to wait all day to dispose of the gay porn. Actually, we didn't go. he didn't go to the post office box until the afternoon. Okay. So you, how long was the gay porn in your house before you disposed of it? Maybe an hour at the most. Now, okay. wait a minute. When he opened up the package, <laughs> did, he, did you tell him there was going to be at least one gay porn in there? Yep. And he oh, so he him. was ready. Yeah, that's why Eric didn't open it. I'll tell you what, Eric. That's 59 <laughs> minutes and 59 seconds longer than it would have been in my house. <laughs> So for the hour the gay porn was there, what did you guys do with it? Like, where did it? Where was it? Just sat in the box that it came in. Did you sit there staring at it? I know. <laughs> so it sat in the box, and then he said, "Don't worry, come nightfall, I'll dispose of this." Right. There was an actual discussion about throwing it out at night. Yeah. You're not kidding. Oh, he threw it out when we when he went and walked. My brother's dog. Okay. Uh, we're dog sitting. So he specifically took the gift point. Did he put it in something, or he just took it out with him and the dog? He put. He had it just in the FedEx box. Okay. And does the FedEx box have your name and stuff on it? 
No, I'm sure he took that stuff off. Of you're it. sure? Oh. So you're saying oh. the garbage man might have found the FedEx box with and your name. And it has your name on it. And the gay porn. <laughs> you're done. Well, <laughs> well, it has your, has your guy's name on it, too. Well, we don't care about that. We don't do it. We're not embarrassed. <laughs> we, I mean, it could have been sent to us for a radio show. So you mean you went to all that trouble to get rid of the gay porn right away, but you put it in the mailing box? Are you fucking insane? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. So you're, so you're completely attached to the gay porn. Your name is on it. It's all over you. What were you thinking? I'm sure the label was off the box. Yeah, you're not sure. You don't know I that. I don't know. Why your would he rip the label off? Yeah, your roommate doesn't care. Actually, we never asked where Richard came up with that so quickly. <laughs> where did he get the gay porn? Well, we have tons of it here. They send it to us. See, that's and Richard watches it because we take clips. That's our uh, that's our explanation, and it's uh, you know it's the truth. Did you at least see the box of the gay porn? Yeah, a little bit of it. Right, what'd you see? What was on the cover? Just the uh, name. Yeah, and what else? It's a guy with a big cock, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't really look. He said the CD had a big cock on it, or the DVD actually has the cock on it. And the, and the back pictures were guys. Putting their cocks in each other's ass. <laughs> you saw that. You know you saw it. You turned it over and looked at it. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> he saw it. <laughs> so homophobic, he won't even admit he saw the guys with the cock in his ass. <laughs> He's a little bit curious. He looked. Nope. Yeah. He must have been a little bit interested. You read the names. I only saw the, the name of the movie, not the names of the actors. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Can't believe that porn is out there in a box with your name on it. Yeah, it's like whatever Eric's last name is, and I don't even know Eric's last name. What is your last name? Why should I say it now? All right, don't say it. <laughs> yeah, because everybody's going to know you had gay porn coming to your house. But all I know is the garbage man now knows your link to gay porn. <laughs> Like, oh shit! I didn't. Know, I knew the guy had fucking problems. I didn't know he was gay. Oh, Eric's done with this one. <laughs> he always wanted your name to be changed. Now it's now it is Eric the Gay Midget. <laughs> no. no, seriously, Eric. The next time, you know, wipe your name. Like, make sure of that. Don't leave that to your roommate. Forever, you could be linked to gay porn. The whole neighborhood will be a buzz. The buzz. <laughs> Your moves on the field. So I don't understand something. The porn you watch. What was the name of it again? The gigantic titties two. All right. When you so, why did you choose gigantic titties two? Because well, Brandon Taylor. Was okay, that's, that's your one favorite. of his favorites. All right. And so, how much of the movie did you get to watch? I watched the whole thing. I can't believe that. See, I mean, you sit there torturing yourself, watch, and you die in a beat off, but you won't shut the door to beat off? No. Wow. How do you watch a whole porno? <laughs> yeah, I mean, was it interesting? Was American it that Idol. interesting? I don't know anyone who watches a whole porno. And never jerks off. Did you get a boner? I was actually watching the other parts on Fast Forward. Did you get a boner when you were watching this thing? Yeah. What other parts did you watch on Fast Forward? The other actresses. I wasn't. I was watching her mainly. I mm. see. So every, every time there was a Britney scene, you stopped. So how many hours did you wait to beat off between viewing the film and then beating off? Oh, my roommate just told me the name tag was ripped up in another garbage can. Yeah, right. <laughs> so he's, you're telling me he took the name tag off the FedEx box, ripped it up, put that in a separate... So he didn't even want the ripped up garbage. I don't believe this. <laughs> I'm not buying I have no fucking reason to be lying to you right now. <laughs> hey, you don't want to see him gay. No, I'm just saying your roommate's probably doing a big cover-up. You mean to tell me he put, it in, he put that in separate garbage pails? The name tag, the ripped up name tag, and then the gay porn. That never said. happened. Oh, Fred, what the fuck do you know? <laughs> it never happened. 
Jesus. You're a midget. You're in your bed. You're going to trust some guy? He probably just threw it out in the front trash, and they're going to find it. He's lying to you. Sit back there and shut up like you usually do. It'd <laughs> be funny if like, the roommate You just don't want to face the truth, do you, Eric? Put a big sign on the door. Gay porn is inside. No, and he just left it propped up by the door. <laughs> oh, no, they're going to paint my door now pink. But, uh, Eric, you got a boner. What do you do with the boner? What, you just stand You don't jerk off? I mean, you just sit there with a heart on watching the rest of a porno? What's great is a gay garbage man rang the doorbell and went, do you have a boner right now? <laughs> I mean, you know, you're Hi, you have any extra trash inside? I've never fucked a midget. Mm. I love daddy's <laughs> discipline, too. I didn't realize you collected gay porn. <laughs> That'd be great. Not everybody likes No me. one knows I'm gay, but I can see I can trust you. <laughs> Get out of my room. Do you work out? <laughs> That'd be cool if the garbage man was gay. Yeah. He's like, hey, I saw that movie, too. It's my fave. <laughs> what scene's your favorite? <laughs> so when you watch the movie Big Titties 2, <laughs> what was your favorite scene? Like, like, what did you like best? I was mainly like watching Brandy. Doing what, though? Blowing a guy or... Getting laid. They must be doing things with the breast, and right? And the ass. What do you like best? What do you like? Well, I just like what Robin said. Yeah, they're they're effing the breasts, I think. Oh, titty fuck. Yeah. That's what you like? Yeah, but I focus just on that. I don't focus anywhere else. All right. Mm -hmm. In other words, he, he doesn't even see the man's cock. In the oh, thing. I see. That's how straight I don't he see his balls <laughs> swinging back and forth. He's so straight. That he doesn't see the guy. No. <laughs> I don't see his pain. <laughs> see, now you're protesting too much. <laughs> I didn't even see the guy's cock. I didn't see his puckered asshole as he shot his load on her ass. Who concentrates that much? <laughs> oh, that's funny. You're like people who don't see skin color. <laughs> you know? Like you don't even see the guy's ball sack. <laughs> you don't even notice. Hey, Eric, so so you watch the porn. You watch it all the way through. Now you've had a boner for, what, I don't know, an hour. What do you... So when do you beat off? Did you wait till nightfall? Yeah, I just let it naturally go away. What? I just let it go away. Yeah, but yeah. when do you remember the porn and take care of yourself? But aren't you irritable? Like, I get irritable after I've you had blue to. balls for well, so long. Well, he's irritable all the time. Were you irritable all day? Like, God, I can't wait to get to my bed so I can <laughs> beat off? No, I waited till I could. No. Nah. See, he likes to rub into the bed, so it's kind of mm. hard. For, but You don't like it just sitting up in your chair. It would be very difficult for him to beat off to actual porn because he has to lay in the bed and rub into right. the pe rub into the sheets. <laughs> so you got dressed that night in your PJ pants, and you got into bed. The lights are out, I assume. I guess. And then you started to think about big titties too. Yeah. And then you rubbed into the bed. Yeah. And you came all over your PJ pants. And then went to sleep. And went to sleep in that mess. <laughs> and then urinated on myself. <laughs> That's a fun morning. Woo. <laughs> uh, if we, if we, so, were you able to remember most of the movie? Yeah. Good. Yeah, I feel sad for you that you can't watch the porn and beat off at the same time. Well, he could. He just won't. See, he loves to beat off laying in that bed and rubbing into it. Yeah. So, I think in a way... It's almost unless, like being with a woman? Well, no, I'm saying in a way, it's like it, it would be hard for him to even watch the porn unless he could set the computer up somehow in the bed while he's running. Ru hey, they have DVD machines that'll go mm -hmm. elsewhere. No, no, but he'd have to have it to the left of him like while he's beating. You know what I mean? It's a whole, <laughs> it's a whole thing. That's a production. Yeah. How long did it take you to blow your load after seeing a movie like that? Not long. Yeah, I bet. After a full day of walking around like that. You know. How do you concentrate on anything? <laughs> well, what's he going to do, Artie? What is, what's he got to distract himself from? I'm saying, I, when you when you want to fucking come. You know what we should do for him? We should build a TV screen into his, like, his headboard. Do you have a headboard on your bed? No. No. Uh, like, so he could beat off and look at the TV. At the yeah, well, time. even if it's the wall, whatever's in front of you. And when people came into the room, they'd be like, well, why is there uh, your TV behind your bed? <laughs> go, well, when I beat off, I need... <laughs>
See, I fucked my bed. Can it be down behind the bed? Can it be at the bottom? That's true. He could face the other yeah. direction, but I suppose. But that'd be too far away. He couldn't reach the control. <laughs> All right. Hey, we'll, we'll hook him up with a remote. Yeah. You say, why is that there? Well, you see, I fuck my bed on a regular basis. <laughs> Have you ever been able to beat off, like, watching a porn? Yeah. How does that happen? I manage it. can do it. So you can do it. Hmm. He's got problems, this kid. He just doesn't want to. You know where we got to send you? The W Hotel in L in L.A. They got the nicest beds. That's what's oh, gross right. about going to a hotel. You got a guy like Eric spooling into Oh, my into God. The... Now you're making me think. Oh, room, room service. Oh, stop. He's, Don't he's... even talk about it. Yeah, but what do you think goes on? There's, oh, there's got to no. be a bunch of midgets <laughs> go there and rub into the bed. There's been, a, there's been 2020 episodes. Basically, <laughs> hotel beds are just jizz sponges. Oh, why do you say this now? <laughs> I'll never be able to sleep uh, again. I sleep on the floor. <laughs> These sheets have a high thread count. If, if it has a bedspread, just throw that out the window. As soon as you, as soon as you get into a hotel, just just. Oh, hey, Eric, if I sent you a Brandy Taylor blow-up doll, would you bang it? I don't know if they make one. I think they have a, a mold of her vagina. Yeah, I think you can just get that. You do don't you, need, need a whole doll. Do you want that? I'll have to think about that. Or maybe you need the breast, too, huh, Eric? No, that's just a vagina, but it feels like her I'm vagina. I'm a breast man. But he needs the titties. He's a titty man. You see, he could jerk off into that mold of the vagina. I've done that. She probably has a mold of her breast, too, if that breast is a big thing about her. You want me to send you a blow-up doll? Better to jerk off into a blow-up doll than a bed. At least you could rub up against a... Something. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> blow-up doll. <laughs> Would you like one? I'll, I'll get back to you. All right. Oh. <laughs> you see those blow-up dogs? Hey, no. you, you, got one. you got somewhere you put a wig on. Well, I love the ones that have the hair just painted on. That's the best. Yeah. <laughs> it's just beautiful hair. <laughs> My darling. I'll get him one with real hair. <laughs> so light, like. <laughs> Like the titties, they're like big. They're sewn on. <laughs> I hardly noticed the scene. Oh, what do you got? What do you there? got there? Oh, here's Richard, your your dealer. What do you got? I got a uh, a dream date pool float. What is that? It's like a, a thing that you float in a pool. I don't know. Does oh, Eric, is it, is it and that a girl is on it. Yeah, it's well, not Brandy Taylor. Take it, take it out of the box. I don't know. Does Eric have a pool at his apartment? No, but he could lay that down on his bed. Can you imagine? I can't swim. What? Oh, well, oh, there she is. And what are you saying? It, you, it's like a pool floaty thing. That oh, you yeah, but on. you can't do anything to it. Yes, you can. Yeah, it has a vagina. In. Oh, you're kidding. It does. Yeah. Oh, you got it. You want it, Eric? It's in a wrapper. It's it's brand new. No, it's fine. It's like an air mattress with a vagina, Eric. You could, like, lay on it. And it's it. got a hot chick's picture on it. It's your dream. Yeah. It's Monica's sweetheart is the woman that's on it. She's real hot. No, that's okay. Why don't we just send it to him? Yeah, so I think he'll change his mind when he sees it. it. You're already fucking way. your mattress. No, it's really, it, she's really hot, I'm telling you. And slip in one with a dude on it. <laughs> uh, what's this doing here? Oops. It's a cock. I want to see him get rid of that box. I am shocked it has a vagina. It does, right there. Oh, that's too funny. Let me see that thing. What does it say? It's got an arrow pointing to a vagina. Let me see that thing. Oh, that's a riot. Dream day pool float. Ra relaxing in the pool will never be the same with this thrilling... Beach band pool Can floor. you imagine seeing somebody in their pool doing that? She's on her back and she's all yours, just begging for you to penetrate her tender love hole. Her skin is smooth and dripping wet, and you will be too when you feel her warm, inflatable insides. The best part is no one will know what you're doing when they see you floating on your stomach. I don't know. Lower your trunks and give pool play a whole new meaning. Wow. She's hot. Oh, they got a big arrow pointing to the vagina. This nude sun bunny is open and waiting for you. She is hot. Mm -hmm. You sent, Eric, I'm sending this to you, okay? <laughs> we could even send Eric one of her movies, a porn movie from the woman that's on the pool float, so he could get all excited. Okay. You want this? You do? You know you want it, right? Not really. Yeah. Yeah. All you, yeah. you do, blow it up and put it <laughs> on your bed. I'm telling you, she's hot, and she's got a vagina. It's better than a blow-up doll. Better yeah, than a bare mattress. 
It's sealed and in the package. You can blow your load into this thing here. <laughs> no one will know what you're doing. Uh-oh, how does he get it cleaned out? <laughs> what if I get her pregnant? How's he going to blow this up? How's it, well, you get a... Pump. He doesn't have a pump. Get the roommate. Get the roommate. Yeah. Yeah, the roommate, <laughs> the roommate will blow. Well, who's going to clean The garbage it? man will do it. Yes, blow roommate. it up and, 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 and lay it on my bed. Here, take this down to the gas station. Have it inflated. <laughs> the roommate doesn't want to clean that thing up. Uh, Eric will handle that. Even if control. he just fucks it once and then throws it away. Uh, like, he could use like... imagine, that, that, uh, imagine that that Mission Impossible trying to throw this thing away without being attached to it. His DNA is going to be all over it. Uh, he could use a Ziploc bag, kind of like a, uh, you know, a woman's condom in it. Dream day pool float. <laughs> First of all, who's got the balls to buy this thing? Like, how do they sell these? Well, this is what I'm saying. Who's in their backyard pool doing this? I know. And look at the packaging. I mean, this is an expensive. Pro how much does this thing cost? I would imagine that's probably like probably 50 hundred bucks. bucks, or 100 yeah. bucks I bet it's yeah. a big seller. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of pool do you have to be in where you could try that? Kitty pool. <laughs> With some high walls around it. Yeah. I'm going to send this to Eric. Yeah, we'll put that right in the mail for Eric. Yeah, I don't hear him protesting. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Make sure. This goes to Eric. Oh, thank you. Ah, too late. <laughs> Once you see this thing, Eric, I bet you're going to be into it. Yeah, it's Literally. for you. <laughs> 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 and your face would be right where her tits are, too. Yeah. What's your roommate's first name? Jan. Jan. Look, I just got pool date, dream date. <laughs> but get rid of the box. The same dumpster with the gay porn. I got dream date pool float. <laughs> Put it where it can be seen. I've got to negate the gay image. <laughs> Just give him three. It'll be like half will be up. Take one after another. <laughs> I sleep with three pool yeah, floats. Yeah, three different girls. <laughs> I'm currently dating three rafts. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Wayne, you're on the air. Hey, now. <laughs> what does it take to maintain a relationship? <laughs> a pump. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smoke cigarettes around her. <laughs> What's up, Wayne? Hey, now, how funny would it be if Eric kept sending out that uh, gay porn, throwing it out, and it kept coming back to him in the mail? <laughs> like a Twilight Zone thing? Yeah, like a, like a bad penny. It just kept coming back in the mail. <laughs> Remember, the, did you ever see Twilight Zone where the, the guy, the, the doll, the, this, this doll starts talking, so the guy tries to throw it out? Talking Tina, maybe? Talking yeah, Tina. Talking yeah. Tina, that's right. What if it was like Eric just keeps the gay porn, just somehow keeps ending up back in his house? <laughs> Wait, what are you doing here? <laughs> I burned you. Yeah. He burned her. He put her head in a vice. He did everything, but Tina was always back. You know what you got to do? You got the porno of that chick. What's that chick's name? Monica Sweetheart. But stick a gay porn in there. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Foiled again. Like Bruce <laughs> Sweetheart. <laughs> Close your ears for a second. I got to make a plan. <laughs> no. Well, that'd be pretty cool. Or maybe we'll get one that, like, when you blow it up, a big penis sticks out of it. Or something. <laughs> a transvestite raft. <laughs> you know what you got to do when you send Eric the porn? Don't listen to this, Eric. Twenty minutes in, edit in gay porn. There you, know, you go. We'll make our own. Wait, I was about to come. There's a boner. Oh, that's mayday, not, mayday. That's not Brandy Taylor. <laughs> yeah, repackage. That's James it. Taylor. <laughs> it's Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> Justin, you're on the air. I just want to say, Eric is starting to bore the living shit out of me in the morning. <laughs> not hey, me. Hey, hey, I got like a Walmart bag from where I went to Walmart. I'm gonna put it over my head and suffocate myself with this guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One less loser in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Jeff. Jeff, you're on the air. Yo, hey, now, listen. It, it, now, is there any way you can get, like, this guy's roommate on the phone? You can, like, have a talk with him and say, listen, dude, when the door is closed and, like, yeah. my PJ pants are on the door, don't come in. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, Eric, where is your roommate? If you want me, I'll have that discussion with, uh, what's his name again? Jan. Jan. You can't barge in. You're a grown man. Knock. A grown midget. <laughs> What's with the yawn? His name is John. <laughs> yawn. You're a not grown man. What's his name? 
Jan? Are you there, Eric? Eric hung up. Uh, did he? Yeah, he's gone. He didn't just, want us to talk to Jan? Both, both, both callers were just dropped. It's weird. Eric, you there? Hmm. Nothing makes Eric hang up. I was going to get Jan on the phone. <laughs> Nothing makes him turn down air time. We want to, We hit a nerve. I think his name is Jan because every time Eric talks, he starts yawning. <laughs> hey, wake up. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> Let me tell you about round three of American Idol season four. <laughs> I haven't seen The Sopranos yet, but everyone's telling me High Pitch Eric was on The Sopranos last night. He was? His, uh, his yeah. head. Like, all you see is that big head. When? Uh, when they're gambling on horses. Oh, I got to take another look at that. And supposedly Eddie the Produce guy's in it. I didn't see him, but he Jeez. said he was in it, too. He somehow shows up everywhere. Wait, mm. I watched it. I missed Ooh. it, too. Shit. When, I when, well, I knew either. to look for it because I knew that. At the casino? Yeah. Don't say anything. All right. Please. At the casino, is Eddie the Produce guy, or is that a high pitch Eric? I saw high pitch. Okay, at the casino. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, they told you. Yeah, I, didn't, I guess you had to look. You yeah. almost have to pause it to Who's see. Who's high pitch? High pitch. I thought maybe Tony fucks with high pitch. <laughs> they have a similar physique. Oh, Fire! Yeah. Oh. What happened to Eric? I was just getting to getting his. Is Eric there? Hello, hello. See if you can call him back. Because I was in the middle of a very intimate conversation with him. How big are your balls? Send him the uh, doll and the. Uh, he'll like the doll. Hey, you know, just for that whole thing with uh, high pitch Eric on the Sopranos. Like JD just showed it to me, and I rewound it. There's no way to know, Howard. Right. There's no. There's. I can't imagine. Anybody I totally to, missed it. This, yeah. You can, I mean, yeah, I didn't see it. You have to freeze frame it, and then like you see like nine tenths of his head. Wow. Right. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a job. It's a very important job. Hey, do, can we play that uh, high pitch? And, no. No. Oh. What's He's, that? He said we can. Okay. What but I'll, I'll browbeat him into it. All right. Don't browbeat him. Don't browbeat him. What has high pitch been up to? He's uh, getting evicted from his apartment, I guess, or something. Oh, you're well, kidding. He's, having, he's having some legal difficulty. He didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, he didn't? He's having a legal problem. And then uh, maybe I can get him on the phone. What could be his legal problem? You know what he was trying to get a free lawyer from Scott the Engineer. Oh, uh, from Scott? Yeah, Scott knows some lawyer that High Pitch ran into. And High Pitch wants. Hi, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> High Pitch wants essentially the lawyer to maybe take his case pro bono. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, that high pitch Eric, he's so he is really strange. You remember the guy he ripped off, the restaurant guy that he ripped off? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess Pharrell is friends with that guy. Mm. So he was sitting in a Pharrell show last week, just hanging around, and Eric called in, and uh, he goes, "Hey, Eric, guess who's here?" And Eric is like, you know, the same bullshit again. I promise, I'm going to pay you back. Like he 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 ripped that guy off for six hundred bucks. Get him on the phone later. I'll, yeah. I'll talk to him about the lawyer. If, if it, Eric's back. In fact, he remind. I just really quick, he reminded me. He he wrote a bad check for six hundred bucks and then collected six hundred bucks from the woman who ordered the food. So he oh, did it twice. Jesus. Eric, what happened? How come you hung up? Signal dropped. Oh. Signal dropped. What does that mean? What signal know. dropped? Is he on a cell phone? Yes, cell. So. Oh, your cell. Oh, you're on a cell. You don't have a regular phone. No, we do. I choose to call on the. Could you call on your regular phone from now on? Because it, it, no wonder you sound so. Right, we've dropped you a number of times. Yeah, and also he sounds distant. I thought it was because he couldn't get to the phone. Maybe that's part of the Eric the Midget sound, though. Like, <laughs> you know, that cell phone sound. Right. No, I choose to call on my cell phone. See if you can call on the regular phone next time. I'd just like to hear the difference, okay? I'll try. It'd be easier for people to hear you. You want me to talk to this cat, Jan, and tell him to give you some privacy? No, he's asleep. Wake him up. When he, or when he wakes up, call me back, okay? And I'll just tell him, you know, because you're too embarrassed to tell him. You say, listen, Eric needs some private time in his room. If the door's shut, don't walk in. That's the new rule. You know, well, this is the time that Eric should be beating off right. since Jan is asleep. That's true. Why don't, you go, why don't you get one of those corns we sent you and beat off now? Oh, are, you, are you afraid he'll wake up? No, they're put away. Well, when it, when you can't get access to them? No, they're put away. You mean Jan has to get the porn for you? For now, yeah. Oh, boy. What do you mean? He puts them in a place you can't reach? <laughs> well, because, um, you know, this house is also half my parents' house. Well, why don't you put the porn in your room? That way you'd have full access to it whenever you want it. 
We sent it to you, not Jan. I know that. It's, it's your porn. It's just in a spot where, you know, only him and I know where it's at. But why can't you access it? You couldn't pick a spot that you could get to? Not really. It's like pirate booty. <laughs> it's hidden from his parents. <laughs> I mean, there's a million hiding spots. Why would you hide your porn? Where you, you can't, can't get reach to it. it. Yeah. You've got to. You got to. Isn't that embarrassing? You've got to ask that guy. Hey, I'm ready to watch porn now. Yeah, Can you even get it for me? Jan shouldn't know where your porn yeah. is. Yeah. Do you believe this? He knows your horny schedule. <laughs> like, who wants to be at the mercy of Jan when I want to watch porn? Is there nothing sacred? Eric, this makes no sense. Sorry if it doesn't make sense. It's the way it is. Mm -hmm. So you got to go through Yon just to get your porn. Now, are you saying your parents go through your stuff? Well, in my room, yeah. Wow. That's wrong. They say a kid should have his own Kid, space. he's 30-something. <laughs> he's the size of a kid. <laughs> Yon, can you get my porn? Which one do you want, Eric? Tinker with my stinker. <laughs> <laughs> like that's embarrassing that you have to say I want to see Tinker. Right. I just don't like that. I'm being serious, Eric. Would you when when get Jan up? Let me talk to him. I've got time right. What? He's asleep. All right. When he wakes up, have him call me. All right. Call him with him. I'll can't, guarantee, can't guarantee that he'll be up before the show. Comes. All right. If he does, I'm going to straighten this all out for you. All right. Because we're sending you a whole bunch of stuff and. Now you can't even get to it. How are you going to get to your blow-up mattress? <laughs> we want to make sure we're not wasting our time. There's a $29 value on that air mattress. All right. Thank you, Eric. Um, and have him call in, okay? I'll see. I'll, I'll straighten it out for you. You'll be forever grateful. Right. Jan's probably exhausted because last night he had to walk three miles to get rid of that gay porn at <laughs> <laughs> night. He was on a whole mission. All right. And and when you get the air mattress, put it in a place where you can access it. Well, I don't know if that's... How's he going to do that? I don't know, but he's got to figure... I mean, for him to use it, it'll have to be blown up all the time. You know what, Robin? He has all day to figure it out. <laughs> He'll figure out a way to fuck that up anymore. See, I'm thinking he's going to have to ask Jan for that. Yeah. Could you bring me my blow-up mattress? Bring me my date. <laughs> my pool date. <laughs> my I, pool float. I need my pool float, I mean, float, my pool Jan. float, a pina colada, and some k -Li. It's fuck time. <laughs> Someone's going to get it. <laughs> all right, Eric. Good Someone's going to get fucked. <laughs> I'm sending you more porn, all right? All right. All right. And have Jan call me when you uh, when he gets up with you, all right? I'll all right. See if you can. I'm going to straighten this out. Thank you. Your door, your, uh, you should have some privacy. Thank you. Um, right. I mean, really. I, honestly, I like Eric, and I, I don't like that he doesn't have any uh, privacy. Eric the Midget, you're on the air. Good morning. Like, What's your miserable like, story? Like Scott the Engineer went and had Wendy's for dinner. Oh. What? <laughs> you know, like like hamburgers. Why would you have like a fries? Like something good like a steak well, yeah, or, if you or like come a off great a fast, dinner. Why would you go to Wendy's? It's like going into a garbage bucket and yeah. like gorging like a goat. <laughs> Did you have Wendy's? I heard. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is so stupid. I just went crazy yesterday, and now I'm fine. I ordered an omelet for breakfast again, and you know, and you're back on omelet. your program. What? I'm back. Yeah. Just the one day it was, you know. I got I got it out of my system and now I'm back and I'm going to the gym again today and sure. you know. was right. Wendy well, satisfied? Like and I will. Did Wendy's do the trick? Did it satisfy you? Not really. See, that's okay. the thing. It's like, not even it was good. More disappointing, but uh, the breakfast was good though. <laughs> What'd you get at Wendy's? Triple, what did I get? Triple double? No, I just got a regular uh, <laughs> bacon cheeseburger. That was and, and what? Fri and fries. And a shake? No, just, no. I always drink water. I always have. Mm-hmm. All right. That's so, no fun without a shake. I don't drink soda or anything else. Just your intern was saying you were farting all day in your wow. studio. What? I was rumbling, but mm. I wasn't farting. I was rumbling. All right. So there he is, Scott the engineer. Thank you. Eric the midget, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. 
What can we do for you? Well, I was calling because last week Lisa did a story about me and did not include an interview with me at all, and she made me come off as being desperate. Oh? And I want to know what the fuck that was all about. <laughs> Lisa, you want to come in and explain yourself to Eric? You make him Is sound he desperate. desperate. Explain yourself to me. I don't get the uh, the vibe that Eric's desperate. She's I not know. here yet, Howard. Oh, she's not. Oh, she's not here yet, Eric. Call back. No. I'll put you on hold till she gets in. She can. Just, what do you mean? She made it sound like you were hard up for chicks. No, 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 not for that. For a job. Oh well, That's yeah. That's right. Yeah. But you are. I got I got tape of you begging for a job on the voicemail that you leave. I was not begging. I was. Just saying, I need a job. I've been living off SSI for about 14 years now. It's time. Then you that should be desperate. After 14 years, he's desperate. But you know, Eric, it is understandable. I mean, you do have multiple handicaps. I know you want a job, but like the jobs he wants, he wants to go work for the Maloof Brothers as yes. a greeter yeah. in Las Vegas. Like, he, like you'll no. come to. No, here in Sacramento at the arena. Oh. At the arena, you want to grieve people. People are coming for a good time. They'll see you sitting there. That'll cheer what them What are up. you going to say? Mm. <laughs> well, where I wanted to work. Hi right there. I'm your short, misshapen host. Here's, what, here's the tape probably Lisa heard. Oh, hey, Lisa. Lisa's here now. You made Eric sound desperate. He's upset. What's, which story? About him wanting a job. He's not desperate for a job. He just wants to work. And unlike Shuley, you didn't interview me. Usually when Shuley does... A story about me. He interviews me about it. Well, Eric, not He's to take point. not to take anything away from you, but I work on so <laughs> many stories. I need to hear the story. Do we have it? Well, I'll play you his tape. Tell me if he sounds desperate. He wasn't desperate. He just wants a Let job. Let me hear. All right. Hey, the actor, I was calling to see if you guys could please seriously help me get a job. So no pun intended. You use the word serious. Um, it's hard to understand, isn't it? Yeah, I don't. I'm getting mm. every other word. I right, forget it then. Was this the the voicemail he left on Jackie's? When he, remember we did a story about he called. It's a voicemail he left for somebody. Yeah, I I tried calling the one eight the serious tip line, and I accidentally hit the wrong button. Are, are you sure I I didn't do a headline on you? You're thinking of an entire one minute story. Well. You announced on the show. Are you talking about the headlines in here? Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. All right. So Eric wants to make it clear that he's not desperate for a job. He would like a job. Okay. Does that does that satisfy you? Yeah, it does. All right. Um, are you reaching out to others? Have you talked to somebody else about a job? I tried talking to a contact that I have at WWE Films. Oh, what do you want to do for them? Well, uh, prom help them with promotions or whatever. Huh. All right. Well, we, we, I'm going to keep. Uh, I'm, we have a little job board. I'm going to see. If Why that... doesn't he go to? Uh, I mean, you must belong to some organizations, or you're followed by somebody. Yeah. Why aren't you asking them to help you find a job? Well, I haven't gotten back into the LPA yet. But it's I little will. People's Association. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to keep my eyes open, okay, and ears open. Surely they must have a bulletin board full of jobs. All right, Eric. Okay, thank you. You're hitting the porno we sent you? No, not lately. All right. Eric the Midget, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Did you watch American Idol? Yeah. Who do you feel was the best contestant? Well, uh, definitely not Blake. I I think it will probably be him going home tonight. No, I think Lakeisha will be going home. Really? Well, yes, I do. Based on that performance? Was, uh, yes. That was kind of my second thought. All right. I'm okay, dying you, to hear your third thought. Except we don't have an hour. <laughs> Eric, what uh, can I do for you? Well, I was also calling to see if you guys had gotten contacted by anybody because of, you know, me talking about wanting a job yesterday. Did we, Gary, did anyone Was contact us? Was there a us? flood of calls? Or even one <laughs> where someone wants to employ Eric the Midget as perhaps a greeter 
of some kind or uh... would you work at Walmart? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Yes. The answer is not a one. That's it. There were actually that's not true, guy. There were a bunch of calls interested in hiring you, but they all ended with this. Not. <laughs> Well, I hope, Eric, someone does call, honestly. I would like to see you working. Yeah, but why not set his sights a little lower, like at a Walmart or something, not an arena or... Oh, he's suggesting ideas. One of the Maloof hotels. Well, if you're going to suggest ideas, you want to suggest Walmart or a Maloof hotel. You know what I mean? And by, by the way, to Mark Freakins, the name Maloof is M-A-L-O-O-F. Not the way you spelled it yesterday on your site, Mark. All right. Good. Hey, hey, Eric. Yeah. Have you been contacted by? Uh, we got an email last week. A guy who runs this thing called the uh, Exotic Erotic Ball has been contacting yes, Eric to appear, and Eric refuses. Why? I don't. I don't want to work with a cokehead. A cokehead? I can't say that. He's not a cokehead. No. He exhibited clear signs of it when I met <laughs> him at Killers of Comedy. No. What are the clear signs of a code? <laughs> I don't know the gentleman, but you can't make are accusations like that. Oh, no, I mean, you wouldn't know. I, I sat right next to Artie. I didn't know he was a code. What did you see, Well, it was Eric. heroin. It's different. He kept asking me the same damn question over and over again every time he would. <laughs> doesn't make the guy a cokehead. Did you answer his question? Yeah, I answered it. I what was the question? That I wasn't interested. What was the question that he asked you over and over again? If I would do the, you know, erotic, exotic... Well, he's oh, trying to convince right. you to do it. It doesn't mean he's a cokehead. You have to disparage the man. Boy, you, you, you're persistent. You have no offers, and one offer that you get, you immediately, you know, discount the guy. Man, he's a hard-working guy what putting together want, a big event. What did he want you to do? To be like the grand marshal of... Oh, my God. What? Well, that's, that's exactly what you're looking for. You want to be a greeter, here's an event. Okay, granted, it's not the Maloof brothers. But the gentleman is uh, being persuasive, yes. He sent me an email. He said, uh, in every case, the little fucker has turned down opportunities that since October 2006 could have paid him over $8,000 in cash. Wow. Uh, and VIP tickets for him and his friends. He just said, I want him to be the grand marshal of the exotic erotic ball. And, and you're disparaging the guy. I mean, for Christ's sake. I mean, here's a guy offering you work. He's a, a hard-working businessman. He's able to put together $8,000. Yeah, he, I, he he's no cokehead. He, when he, I've when I talked to other people about this guy, they, they said the same thing that they said that he sounded like he showed that clear. Oh, signs stop it! Who are you talking to? Stop talking to everybody. Law so, enforcement and, agent. And, and, and what Johnny if he, for one. Oh, and Johnny doesn't know. Johnny, no. Johnny, you know Howard. I I know this guy. He's actually a friend of mine. He's a good guy, like a regular guy. I don't know what the hell Eric's talking about. Because Eric really doesn't want to work. Here's a job where he's going to get to be a greeter and the grand marshal. Uh, I hear the the, 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 the words eight thousand dollars. That that brings a lot of money. I mean, we have guys licking balls for five grand. Well, I heard that when Eric, I don't know if this is true, but I heard when Eric first started talking to them, Eric demanded that he gets $25. He was like, I want $25. And the guy was like, well, I'll pay you a hell of a lot more than that. Like, so the guy's trying to help Eric out and give him more money. I never said any price to him. Said that's right there. You know, it's kind of, oh, something. Well, if the Maloof brothers are if the Maloof brothers are listening, shit. Oh, whatever. Would, would you take five thousand dollars to lick Sal's balls? Because I could totally raise that. No. You wouldn't even have to get out of your chair, Eric. <laughs> would not do that. If Eric ever did get a job at a Maloof hotel, here's what it would sound like. Hello and welcome to Maloof Hotel, sir. May I help you? Yes, uh, I'll need my bags checked, please. Yes, we'll get those right away. Bridget! Get in here! Ah, uh, what is it now? Take this man's bags, midget, and make it snappy. Ah, uh, my power chair is jammed. Can't get this thing going. Tie that luggage to the back of your chair and beat it. Hurry up! Uh, what did I get myself into? <laughs> On desk, how can I help you? 
Yeah, hi, I need some bath towels right away, please. We'll have them up in a second. Bridget! Drop those bags and grab some towels! I can't reach the towels in the linen closet! Uh... God damn it, grab your stick and knock the towels off the shelf! Hurry up! I gotta use this stick and get that towel down! Confident little bastard! I want out of this business partnership. Uh... Really better. I don't like that. It's not how it would sound. <laughs> it's an idea of what it might sound like. Well, if I was you, I would look into that job. If it, the offer's still on the table, even though you disparaged your boss. I would have to say that, uh, you know, you have no evidence of, of, of what you accuse this man of, and he's giving you a legitimate business offer, and you and know what? what difference would that make anyway, as long as he pays the bills? And, 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 and quite frankly, it sounds like a fun gig to be around all that eroticism. Sure. All right. Thank you, Eric. I didn't know he had a job offer. <laughs> all right. Bye. Well, bye for now. That's all I can say. What, what is that? He's already gotten a call. Are there any calls? Yeah, the one you turned down. 